morning all Okay, let us <coughs> start this session, right? So that is, we are in the last topic of our power system. Of course, in power system point of view, this is the first topic, right? But in the way that we have been approached, right? We went up at last with our transmission and distribution. What we saw till now, we have been analyzed the properties. For a power system, we know power system, la, system la, the stability of the அதனால் ஆல்டர்னேட்டரில் என்னென்ன ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வருது அந்த ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி அனாலிசிஸ் அப்படிங்கிறது நம்ம எதுக்காக பண்ணோம் ரைட் அட் தி சேம் வே வாட் இஸ் தி பர்பஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் வை வி ஹேட் பின் அனலைஸ்ட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பார்ட் தட் திங்ஸ் தட் திங்ஸ் ஹேட் பின் வெட் இன் கன்க்ளூட் ஆல்ரெடி சிமிலர்லி இஃப் தேர் இஸ் எனி ஃபால்ட் இன் அவர் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் அண்ட் ஹவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் தி ஃபால்ட் லெவல் அண்ட் ஹவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ப்ரொவைட் தி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஃபார் அவர் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்மர் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் அவர் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் எவ்ரி திங் வி ஹேட் பின் கன்க்ளூட் ரைட் நவ் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ நவ் with this now we are going to design the transmission lines right already we have been designed alternators in our electrical machines we have been designed alternator yes and then we have been designed protections right that is in protection part we saw which are all the protection equipments are there in our power system right and at which point based on the priority based on the uh, position that is location where we are going to implement our transmission line we are going to use different different protection schemes that things we have been controlled already right yes classification of all everything we have been designed now what we are going to do okay that things are all over but till now which part is left in our power system totally we have four parts one is generation part and second one is transmission part and uh, last one is distribution and uh, in the uh, transmission part we have two more people that is we have been uh, talking about bus bus transmission lines and uh, transformers right so the thing is from the generation point of view transmission that is alternator had been designed but till now we did not see what are all the types of sources that we are going to use to generate the power we did not look right so generation these sources we did not see but how the way we are going to generate the power with the help of synchronous machine that things we saw our synchronous machine operation similarly we have been completely analyzed the properties of loads load in the sense from the load side how our induction inductive loads are going to behave for our system like resistive loads like our capacity loads everything we have been concluded in the load point of view also we have been analyzed in electrical machines itself we have been analyzed the complete properties of 
motors and we have been analyzing the complete properties of generating station that is power alternator and then we also designed what i can say transformer so in that four part transformer is designed yes synchronous machines designed alternator uh, motors designed but the left portion is till now we did not see how to design our transmission line right why we are going up with the aluminum conductor why not copper why not gold why not silver there are so many things right about to discuss similarly in our transmission line we saw we are going to use some protective equipments right with that we are also keep some other equipments in our transmission line ट्रांसमिशन लाइन के तेवन प्रोटेक्शन वाले तो नमक उड़ते रहेंगे मैं देवरा ट्रांसमिशन लाइन नमक एक टी डिजाइन बना पड़ो आधे के नमक ये नए नए प्रोटेक्शन लाइन आई मीन इंसुलेशन लाइन बुड़को पड़ो माय लिया लाइन वी आर गोइंग टू सी नाउ राइट सो दैट इस डिजाइन ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन दैट इस कॉल्ड ट्रांसमिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन ट्रांसमिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी आर स्पेशली टारगेटिंग आवर ट्रांसमिशन लाइंस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइंस एंड डिसेरेबल विथ द डिसेरेबल वोल्टेज लेवल व्हाट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वोल्टेज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कैरी व्हाट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ करंट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू ट्रांसफार्म दैट दैट इज ट्रांसफार्म फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट व्हाई ट्रांसफार्मिंग द वोल्टेज एंड द करंट एंड द पावर फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट राइट व्हेदर वी आर गोइंग टू कैरी राइट व्हाइल कैरिंग द पावर व्हेदर वी आर गोइंग टू कीप इंसुलेशन आर नॉट in our alternator we saw how to design the alternator in alternator usually we are going with the going up with the magnetic material and the electric conductors and the insulator these are the major parts similarly in transmission line also in all electrical machines we saw these things in transmission line also again we are going to see the electrical properties right of our transmission line and uh, with the transmission line we are going to look at we are going to design the transmission line and as well as we are going to carry the power within a proper way with the help of some other equipments right surrounded by the transmission line okay let us go ahead let me proceed from the beginning now just we are in the generating station assume we are in the generating station stand from the generating station right now in the generating station we are going to use various sources yes that various sources are i already told you in our india the majority source is coal we are using utilizing that is effectively we are utilizing coal to generate the power right with the help of coal what we are doing first we are burning the coal usually we are burning the coal right then what will happen with the burning of the coal right we are generating first we are generating heat energy then that heat energy will be converted into what by using water we are converting into steam right and the heat energy used when we now convert into what we are that is water when we burn one room like that is with the help of say, that is, what i can say heat energy we are producing steam then what will happen that steam a high pressurized steam will be generated with the help of coal then that high pressurized steam will be passed to the turbine right so whereas your turbine will going to rotate because of the high pressurized steam right and the high pressurized steam in your turbine will pass from the log automatically your turbine will started rotate right it will started rotating because someone pushing right ap enna avadina and the propeller enna avadina it started rotating right then that rotated turbine will going to be connected with the shaft of our rotor mechanically then what will happen automatically rotor will rotate and then we know rest of things we know you during that rotation right whether we are going to consume the power or not just by connecting the shaft with our prime over we are not going to generate any power that things we have been concluded already simply what will happen when the moment your synchronous machine is going to be connected with the prime over what will happen it is started rotating at a rated speed that's all slowly it will pick up its rated speed and then we are going to provide excitation everything is pakka excitation is fully provided right rated voltage has been generated and then your machine is running at synchronous speed now the question is whether your machine is delivering the electrical power or not till now i did not connect any load or your alternator does not going to be connected to the infrared bus bar now when your system is going to generate the power when your system is going to generate the power when your alternator is going to be connected with your my alternator will going to generate the power when it is connected with the, an infrared bus bar or some isolated isolation in the sense directly connected with the load that is the point where my alternator will going to take the responsibility ninga load connect panum bodha enna agum current production will fall in place because load will consume the current till now your alternator is open circuit so in open circuit voltage will be generated field coil rated flux will be generated rated voltage will be generated and the machine is running at the same speed without any production of power when it will produce the power when till now it is open circuit now in open circuit there is no point of discussing about current when it is connected with the bus bar or load it will take current will fall in place then you know what we do, that is what we will do further right with the help of current one more uh, pole creation will fall in place resultant pole that is stator pole first right then that stator pole will be created by the stator current then that stator pole will going to attract that is will attract that is stator pole will attract your rotor pole right in order to develop the electromagnetic torque then the developed the electromagnetic torque will 
going to oppose our rotor right in that way what will happen finally in my alternator always the developed electromagnetic torque will going to oppose the rotation direction of the rotor in order to convert in order to transform the energy from mechanical domain to electrical domain actually when the moment your electromagnetic torque will be developed electromagnetic torque develop on one end of the this rotor will oppose it we know then at that time the rotor will spend some energy it will consume some energy that is called kinetic energy under that condition that kinetic energy in mechanical domain that power is called kinetic energy corresponding power is called mechanical power that mechanical power will be transformed into electrical domain then the electrical power will be injected into the bus bar but what i have been told you may majorly right what we are doing first after generating that power alternator namba indha mari power generate panadukku appuram it will be connected with our infinite bus bar with the help of some step up transformer right so at the end of this transmission and distribution just i will give the introduction for the sources that we are going to use right now i am just taking our transmission line because that is the major part we have to complete that one then we will see the beauty of our sources naturally available sources renewable sources non renewable sources there are many things to discuss but some beautiful theories are there there is no point of sleeping while learning this theory because uh, naturally some sources are there in this universe we are going to take them on and we are going to analyze their properties right in a simple story some historical developments will be there you will see at last okay let me start from the transmission point now what i am going to do first generation point i am going to use some sources yes it might be sorry that is the sources will be renewable sources or non renewable sources i hope you all are knowing this difference between renewable and non renewable so you are not knowing these things i will come to later later you can learn no there is no point of confusion right we will see later now with the help of various natural sources right we are going to generate the power first alternator mechanically coupled with the sources that is prime one then what will happen this alternator we all know right in our india what we are doing the maximum generation capacity right as an economic engineer what i been told you whenever right while investing by cost right whenever while designing any equipments we should see the cost the primary task is without knowing that the effect of the harmonics production losses of the machine every even our first concern about our primary target is what is the amount of investment how much amount of money i am going to invest yes or no nam endo oru vishayam padalum our primary task is what what is the investment here right how much amount i have to invest here that is that is invest so the thing is in that point of view what i have to do generation right evlo voltage vandu nam generate panna porom in the economic point of view right economically in our india we can generate 11 kilo volt i said already right but the thing is theoretically it has been proved we can go up to 25 kilo volt we can also generate the voltage up to 25 kilo volt but the common voltage right all over the india that is generally we are generating what 11 kilo volt right some special cases are there in some places we are also generating more than that but i am going with the common voltage 11 kilo volt then what we are going to do this 11 kilo volt will going to be step up yes or no yes let's see why we are going to step up the voltage why we are carrying more amount of voltage why we are not carrying less amount of voltage high amount of current more amount of voltage in the sense we are going to carry less amount of current why sir we will see all those things let me control we are in transmission now let me give proof all those things step by step right so right now just remember now let us tackle all those key points right one by one so the first thing is power is being generated next uh, this generated power usually here we are carrying three phase transmission line i hope you all are know knowing these things right next what we are going to do this power is going to be injected into the transformer yes now this transformer will going to step up this voltage what will be the range of the step up voltage this transformer will going to step up the voltage in the range of right we can know that is i think <coughs> we all have remember these things what i have told you in our indian bus bar profile the injected voltage is going to be what 400 kilo volt right 400 kilo volt but the beauty of the thing is we are we can step we can step up this voltage up to 765 kilo volt up to 765 kilo volt nam india la ella edathukku nam vandu 400 kilo volt da vandu what i can say we are injecting but there is only one person that is our uh, what i can say <coughs> you all the power grid corporation of india limited and clear i mean i hope you all are knowing these things right power grid corporation of india limited that is pgci here, right power grid one of the major power plant the right that is not magaratna that is navaratna but he is the person offering us highest salary package you might be knowing these things at starting itself your salary is 1.5 lakhs as an engineer right that is the highest salary package in india right 15 lakhs for a minimum for 10 months right that is almost 18 lakhs around right okay coming back so this is the person right now he is 
he is generating the voltage level, right? They have been implemented a system in India. The power range is what? 765 kilo volt in your mind implement Panita. Right? That is in between Karnataka and Maharashtra. You can check that one. It is uh, implemented in between, like uh, I did not forget that, that is, I forget that city name. But this power is transferred from Karnataka to Cholapur. Cholapur in Maharashtra. No? So the power is transferred in between the two points and their voltage level is 765 kilovolt, right? So with that, in the power system implement Panaka Prana, largest power, India alone, that is world alone, Adikmana power generate Panaka, India would work on the chip, right? With this, they are generating 232 gigawatt power. That is the highest power generation in our India, right? So, well, we are also following this one, right? So, the largest power production on the list, list like India also now, it is on the category, you can see the, in that list, you can see the name of our India, right? With this, right? So, power generation money to the power grid. Sir, why we are implementing this one? If I am generating more voltage, in order to what? To demand, in order to satisfy the demand of the people. In the end, with the help of this power, we are transmitting the power to whom? Namagina, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra, and Maharashtra, right? Why? Because this is the highest power surplus area. Power surplus in the sense power demanded areas, right? So power deficit area in you know, a north side. North side usually there are many power generating stations. But people are not utilizing the power that much. But in south sides, because of the industries, right? Because here there are a lot of industries now, right? That is developed state. Almost these states are almost developed states. Why? Because here the industries are very high and the power generation, the production, right? Everything, right? The network number generated by LRA very, very high. That is the people are, are the industries that are demanding the power is very high in this zone. Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra, and what I can say, Maharashtra, right? So to satisfy the power demand, this is the central government, right? So PGCA. So they are planning to implement this one. Okay, that story is over with this. So that is the only one person. He is the only one person generating this one, 765 kilowatt. And apart from that, there is one more person that is called the GE. I hope you all remember that is one of the toppest uh, power electronics companies in our, that is electronic company in our India, that is General Electronics, right? You might be knowing these things. Highly reputed company, topmost company in India. Right. So here also, in, inside this, uh, what I can say, industry, they are generating the power, 765, but for their own use, right? Yes. So let us start. Let us go ahead. Anyway, the common voltage in our Indian bus profile is what? 400 kilo. Let us go ahead from that. Yeah. Now from here, what we are going to do next step? After stepping up this voltage, so commonly people are defining this. We can step up the voltage in the range of 220 kilo volt to 765 kilo volt. Let me define like that. Anyway, that is common voltage. But the voltage will be vary. Just now we saw na, in Maharashtra we are injecting up to what? 765 kilo volt from Karnataka to Maharashtra, right? So it will be descent. It will be depend on the uh, where there is the position where we are generating the power, location, right? Where we are generating the power. Okay, let us continue. So the range will be 220 to 765. Next, what I am going to do? This is the only point where we are going to step up the voltage. Next, what will happen? Like that in our India, there are thousands and thousands of alternators that are being placed in the different, uh, what I can say, source location. Now, after implementing this all those alternators, all the power will be step up and they will be injected into the infinite bus bar of our Indian power system. Then what we are going to do? We are going to transform the power to the various locations. Right? So, first thing is, all these regions are interconnected. Right? In the same way, in this region, that is the one alternator, assume this is in the southern region. Right? This is southern region we are generating this power. Right? That power will be injected into the bus bar, infinite bus bar. Similarly, there will be one more region in the opposite. We are in South India, right? So in North India, there is one more region that is called the Northern region, right? So this Northern region also will be injected in the same infinite bus bar profile. Let us take, let us extend this line. In the same way, they are also injecting the power into the same bus, bar, bus profile. Again, there is one more region that is called the Western region and Eastern region. Let me write. Is Eastern region and the Western region and the Northeast region. There is one more region. North East region, right? So totally we have five regions, that is five grid five grids separating our India, that is major grids. Now this all major grids are going to be interconnected together, right? At this starting, right? Now what I have done that all these regions are right, we are providing that is we are keeping the alternator and we are generating the powers. See, in the northern region, northern that is northeast region itself, we have many alternatives. 
but all those alternates are connected in parallel and they are combined and grouped together in order to get the that is common profile right grouped together similarly in the southern region all the alternates are combined together in kalpakam you may have some power plant right in kanyakumalli we have some other power plants right because in general we are generating wind power right so that things we know okay let us continue so like that all the alternates are power generated by the power and all by maintaining constant profile voltage they are all going to be connected together right with a common region that is called southern region grid connected system again we are connecting all the region in the north we are same thing we are repeating and the area of the all alternate combine money one group of mati like that we are going to interconnect all these people and we are going to interconnect we are interconnecting right they will be combined together in a common infinite bus bar so why we are interconnecting all these people just now i have been told you right usually south side right that is our side the our side power demand is always very high we know the purpose the bangalore is called electronic city we all know right andhra similarly right so there are many that is in our region the power demand is very high because of the lot of industries consumers are very high here right so the thing is this area is called power surplus area usually our area is called power surplus area why it is called power surplus area why because we are always demanding demanding our demand is keep on increasing because we are implementing more and more industries are upcoming right so they are implementing there are, there are still now even now also near chennai if you go there there are many industries still they are what doing their implementation they are remodifying the structures so the power demand is day by day it is keep on increasing right especially because of the power production that is generation edukaga apdina industries are because of the industries right anyway coming back so the conclusion is power from power it will transferred from deficit area to surplus area that is the one only reason why we are interconnecting all these uh, regions uh, together what do you mean by deficit what do you mean by surplus deficit is the sense power will be generated more than the required that is more than demand right so generated power is greater than the area of demand of the area right similarly surplus in the sense demanded power is what greater than the area of generated power that is called surplus area appo enna agum enoda demand adhigama irukke ana neenga generate panna power kammiya irukke so what i have to do i have to increase the what i can say neenga enna panna enakku inno adhigama power generate panni kudukkanum that things we are doing here appo endha area la undu power vandha nam adhigama generate pannamo that is called deficit area from that we are transforming the power to the surplus area clear that is the purpose of interconnecting all our regions that is called grid connected system combined with your connecting this is called one national one grid system that is called one national one grid some people are calling this one frequency same frequency we are addressing in all over india 50 frequency right 50 hertz so that is called one national one one grid one frequency system right that is interconnected together fine getting back now what we are going to do after injecting this all voltages still we are continuing again that voltage will be stepped down here after and you know what are you going to do we are going to transform this voltages to the various persons right to the various systems right so the thing is here initially the voltage will be step up then from in rest of all zone we are going to step down the voltage from this moment onwards we are going to step down the voltage right so the level of the voltage first we are going to we can step down this voltage from see initially we are stepping up up to 765 and then the first step down right in parallel place we can step down the voltage up to minimum right we can go up to 132 kilo volt you can step down 66 kilo volt you can step down right 33 kilo volt also you can step down right 33 kilo volt right and then what will happen right and then based on the industry again it will be injected into one more bus bar and then various roads again let me take one more transformer here your voltage will be step down to 11 kilo volt right so from this thing we are step down into voltage to 11 kilo volt directly then the 11 kilo volt voltage will be again step down to for the load side it will be again step down with the help of one more transformer to 440 voltage or 220 voltage based on the consumers whether we are going to supply the power for us we take la number the 220 voltage right if you are demanding more power then our household will be what we have to shift our change that is we have to change our mode from single phase to three phase in order to get the better uh, power right that's all so the thing is this is three phase system that is single phase system anyway the conclusion is what very simple power on the generate money is with the help of various people we are going to transfer the power and then we are going to distribute the power right so in a major area we have one is first one is generation this is generation right and then they are going to transmit with the help of transformers and transmission line and then we are going to distribute so totally we are doing majorly three things we are doing first one is generation second one is transmission and third one is distribution 
Now, in the distribution side, we have to see how we are going to distribute the power and we have to see how we are going to transmit the power and which are the elements that we are going to use, right? And similarly, we have to see how we are going to generate the power. And remember one more thing, whichever the things that I am going to do here, I am going to do all those things in the point of economic. As an economic, that is economics engineer, what I have to do, once again, I have to implement all those things. Matter is, first thing is, I have to invest. What is, that is how much amount of money I am going to invest. And then I have to see the effect of, that is, losses of the transmission line, efficiency of the transmission line, right? In order to provide, that is, improve the quality of the transmission line, right? Let us see, let us see, one by one. So, the first primary thing is what? Cost wise, we have to see these things. And then we are going to design, that is, we are going to design all those things. That is the general power system, right? Now, what we are going to do, I am just cutting this portion from here. Even, I am going to remove the transmission line. Only we are going to look at the properties of the transmission line. But before that, we have to learn a few more things. Listen. At the time, we have to learn a few more things. We have to learn a few more things. Cost wise, we have to see. If we have to learn a few more things, the primary thing we have to learn. If we have to generate the power, we have to supply the load. If we have to supply the power, we have to supply the supply. Cost wise, what we have to do? We have to, right? You have to design the alternator. Now you have to utilize your alternator under the percentage. Second thing, as well as you have to also have to satisfy the properties of the loads. Yes. So, now power is generated, load is delivered. Now, in between the load and power, that is power generation, we are looking at the various factors, right? That various factors will going to decide the economic, right? That is the cost, investment of our what I can say alternators. Alternators we are bringing some factors. That is called factors. Now that is I am going to define some factors now. That factors are mainly intentionally we are developing that factors in order to reduce the investment that is required by our economic. That is called cost. We are developing that factors in order to reduce the investment right that is cost on our alternators while designing right when the moment time introducing some new alternators into the system right generally generally so the thing is economically we are going to see some factors that is called what economic power generation right to generate the power economically we are going to keep some factors with that right we are always maintaining right in a very good uh, factor profile with the help of very good factor profile we are investing what very less amount of money from the that is for the generating station right let us see the first thing is keep the ending now we are going to look at that is uh, some terms. Enna na paga paro dinna. Generating session la power ondu nama investment ondu kamiya arkno dinna. Nama enna na factors ma irkno ma the factors ondu apply dinna da we have to learn right. So that is called factors that are going to help us to improve the cost. That is help reduce the amount of investment right. So that is called what factors. That is economic power generation. Keep the heading. Uh, heading is what economic power generation. So first thing is let us see. Let me define the factors and then we will take the transmission line and then we will go ahead. At last. First, I will give introduction, right? First of all, we are going to design the economic factors and then I will give introduction for transmission line, which are all the parameters that we are going to design in our transmission line and then we are going to discuss about economic dispatch and then at last we will see that is I am giving introduction for generation. With that, our power system is over, right? Yes. So, let us start. Now, first thing is economic power generation. To generate, that is power on the from economic generate for not enough. First, we are going to just let us assume. Now, we are going to assume. I took alternator at the chain, right? Alternator that is our transmission line, right? Then we are going to connect it with the loads. We are going to connect it with the loads. That's all. Just keep it like this. Now in the transmission line, we know how the how its actual structure will look like. That is the transmission line and the transformers and the bus for everything. Just time considering power system. If we are going to have a transformers, transmission lines, bus bars, insulators, all things. Right, let them connect it together. I am assuming that I am putting all them into a single box. Now, this is my signal, input signal. I am giving this input to the transmission line, and this is here. I am going to receive that signal to supply it, right? To supply that uh, signal to the loads. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Now, what we are going to receive? I have to transmit the power economically, I said, right? Now, this load, if we power generation, first of all, we are given to you. Okay, we have power generate, we have to transmit the transmit, we have to supply the load. Now, we are trying to transform the power from generating station to what we can say, load side. But this power is depending on the load that are going to be connected with our system. Yes, sir. Now, load side, the first thing we have to continue to see, right? Which are the loads that are going to be connected, right? So, first you have to look at the connected loads in the load side. Connected loads. And just looking. What is the rating of the loads? 
For example, if I am connecting on resistive load, on inductive load, on capacity load, that is why I am connecting synchronous motor, induction motor, some DC motors, and some bulbs, fan. There are many things that are going to be connected at the receiving end. So, that is all are called simply what? Connected loads. Now, if you have power generated, you can generate power. Let me ask you a small question. We have a light in the middle of the room, a fan, and we have a mix, AC, many things are there, right? Now, if you have power, you can demand it. If you have a lot of equipment, you can demand it. Sir, if you have a lot of equipment, you can demand it. Now, what do you do? Now, right now, I am using only one fan and two lights. That's all, right? If you have three names, we can supply it. If you have all the loads, we can supply it. If you have all the loads, we can supply it. From the power station, I have to supply the power commonly because निंगे यंदे time पे यंदे लोड़े use करने के लिए तो अच्छे ना power generate, power provide करना पड़ेगा, right? My power station has to design the total connected loads. मतलब माँ उनके बीच में यंदे ना क्या? ये लोड़े loads ही ना correct करना, right? Mixi, what is the rating? What is the rated power demanded by the mixi? It might it might be in kVA or kilowatt something. We have to design, right? kVA rating में ना उसे kilowatt में ना उसे ये उन्होंने मतलब माँ kilowatt से पनी कैसे पनी ना चलना? What is the kilowatt of your TV? What is the kilowatt of your mobile? What is the kilowatt of your laptop? Your induction machine? Which are the terms? That is loads that we are keeping. That is simply called connected loads. Connected load in the sense all the loads that are going to be connected with our power system. All the loads are being considered. It does not matter whether that load is in operation or not. It does not matter, right? It does not matter. The thing is, I have to connect. I have to because. आई हाउ टू जेनरेट दी पावर बाय कंसीडरिंग ऑल दी लोड्स निंग एंड द टाइम पे एंड द लोड कनेक्ट कनेक्ट यूज़ करने में याने तेरी आता है वो रेट टाइम पे निंग एल्ल लोडिया एक्टिवेट पनी वेटिंग आप देना वाटे हाउ टू डू तेरे को ना निंग मोटर लोडे आम लोडे आगे जाना वाली पावर जेनरेट करना राइट सो लेट अस सी सो दी फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी शुड टॉक अबाउट दी टाइप्स ऑफ वेरियस लोड्स विद द रेटिंग्स दैट आर गोइंग टू बी कनेक्टेड विद आवर सिस्टम नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू लोड्स कनेक्ट करने का मतलब गेटिंग बैक टू द पावर सिस्टम नाउ व्हाट आई हाउ टू डू आई हाउ टू जेनरेट द पावर टू सेटिस्फाई आवर लोड्स राइट नाउ फॉरगेट अबाउट द लास्ट सेट ऑफ एवरीथिंग एलआई मान लेंगे राइट आई एम टेकिंग आईडियल सिस्टम जनरेटेड पावर विल बी ट्रांसमिटेड यस और नो सो द जनरेटेड पावर विल बी टू बी सिंपली ट्रांसमिटेड टू द लोड This is the generator power. This is the load demanded by the people. अपने ये ना करना भी how to satisfy generator power ही load power ही ना मैं इकोला करना होता है. Let us see what will happen. ये बना ये ना करना है ना okay system has been connected. My other battery started generating the power. अपने ये इनके एल्ला लोड्स में अभी कनेक्ट पड़ी है. एल्ला लोड्स में उन्होंने मतलब ऐड पड़ी है. अब मतलब ये इनके योर डिमांड में लेके गया ना. For example, I have a bulb, right? Now the rating of the bulb is 50 watts. And here I think that is 50 is let me consider. I have two bulbs, right? Let me consider one is 50 by 50 watts and one is 40 watts. Let us take these two bulbs, right? And similarly, let me consider there is one more fan, right? Now let us take rating of the fan is let me consider some 400 watts, right? Let me consider one mixi, right? There is some mixi. Let us consider some 60 watts, right? Now let me consider one laptop, right? For the laptop, let me consider. I am going to consume what I can say some 30 watts like that some various bulbs like in my home total I have 4 bulbs like this and the total I have like this 3 fans like this I have 2 mixi like that let me take some 3 laptops right so now see here what is the total demand here one bulb is rating 50 watts and actually 2 bulbs are there right let me take in the 4 pair one pair is totally demanding 90 watts like that we have 4 pairs yes or no so the total demand of the bulb is going to be 360 watts Similarly, three fans are there. Total demand is going to be 1,200 watts. Now two mixes are there. Right, the total demand is going to be 120 watts. Like I have two laptop, right, three laptop like 30 watts. So total demand is going to be 90 watts. Now what is the what is the total power generated by the alternator? It is depending on the total power. Total power. But you know, it will simply add 360 with the 50 for 90 that will become 450. 450 where I found this is 1000 to run so that is 1650 next 1650 in the sense 1770 watts total demand right so from my home I am demanding 17750 watts for example simply I can say 177 kilowatts correct now that is in watts I am writing it in kilowatts that is the total demand of our home now I have to generate this total demand from the power system same power I have to generate but the thing is let me draw the first curve that is called the load curve I am going to draw the load curve. Now, if you want to generate power, you will need to supply the power supply. Simply understand, there are no point of memorizing the things here. Right? They are very easy. But you have to learn. Till now, last 15 years, there was no questions. But understanding the power system is very important. You have to learn all these factors and how to apply it. Because you can expect the questions. Right? First thing is, first you have to learn how to design these things. Very easy, very easy. Right? There are no things to memorize. 
So first I am going to draw the load curve. Power is being generated by supply being generated. If I am able to go generate by generating totally, I am generating 1.77 kilowatt. Because your alternator is what purpose of the alternator. Alternator has to generate the total amount of power demanded by the people. Well, if the total demand is 1.7 kilowatt, so I have to generate this 1.77 1.77 kilowatt. Now, what your people will going to do? All your people are going to consume this loads at each and every instant. Is end of instant we will all this load me on the other one. No, during night time we are in winter season. Definitely, we are going to switch off the fan for a particular time period. And while sleeping, we are not going to turn on the bulbs. Your bulbs also switch it off. While sleeping, we are not going to use laptop. While sleeping, we are not going to use mixer. So the none of the components are going to be utilized during night time. So what is the conclusion? During the five hours or six hours where you are sleeping, during the six hours we are not going to using using any loads here. So the power consumed by the people is zero watts during night time. Yes or no? Yes. Right. So we have said, okay, sir, uh, for your understanding, first time I am using fan motor and light energy now for small sir, to consume. For your fan, you activate one thing and then totally, I am using some eight hundred watts night time. Just assume like that. I am that is, I am using two fans. That is, uh, two fans consuming eight eight hundred watts from here. Okay, just I am stopping this. Upon next day now, after, in the morning, you know, then like our mom is going to cook. Right now, she might be using uh, mixing. Right. So two two people are working there. Assume like this, they are going to use the mixing. So the load load is slowly rising. Now during while morning what will happen? You people are turning on the fan and we are going to turn on it. Especially we are going to turn on the bulb. When the moment we are turning on the bulb, now what will happen? Bulb when you turn on, then automatically what will happen? Your bulbs are going to start consuming some electricity. What? So it is depending on the time period. For 24 hours or about 24 hours, na at some time all the loads are we are not going to operate any loads. But at some times, all the loads may be utilized. At some times, only fans are going to be. We are going to use only fan. Now during at one o'clock, that is afternoon time. During lunch time, we we may use only what fans, right? So fans is more to power under the consumption unit. So based on this, if I draw the if I draw the load curve for day, only one day, right? With respect to time period, and considering only one day, let me draw the load curve. Now when I am just starting, now uh, correct at twelve o'clock, then twelve o'clock, then we are going to show that. Night to 12 o'clock, you people are consuming only what? Only fans are running, and they are consuming two fans, I think, right? Okay, you can take anything. For fans are running, let me consider some 800 watts or 2,000 watts, right? And consuming like this. And then what will happen? Morning, even though it is two to the power watt, right? It will be kilowatts, right? Always it will be kilowatts only because uh, for our understanding, I took some small loads. We know in our power system, in megawatt we are generating the power, megawatt gigawatt. Just now I told you, now we are generating. 232 gigawatts, right? That is the maximum power, right? That we are generating now in our power grid, right? So the thing is power. Now what will happen here? I am going to consider generating 1200 watts, and then slowly, morning time, morning time, we are going to increase the power again, right? So it is maximizing, and then again, after some time it is decreasing, and then it is increasing, and your power is going like this. Sometimes it may also be zero. I am just estimating this curve only for 24 hours, only for 24 hours. Now In the 24 hours, we are seeing that after many months, each and each and every half an hour or one hour, we are doing this. That is, we are doing this estimation. What is the total demand of our home? If you know, I am not telling you, Abhinav. You know, when I am telling you, I am not telling you, sir. Now, this is not the only power generated by the people. For 24 hours, we are doing this. Only power, only variation. Correct. Zero, only 24 hours. Over one hour, only you are doing this. 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 Right. After that, what is it? Morning, twelve o'clock, start from ready. And then at one o'clock, I am taking ready. At two o'clock, three o'clock, four, five, six, seven, eight, like twelve o'clock again during PM. Right? Again, I am measuring the time. One, two, three, four. After that, I am going to consume it. Twenty-four hours, I am going to plant it. Right? Now during this plant, where we have the maximum power. See there. Exactly at some time period. The time is not known. That is, our little bit of time is over. But right? So at some time, we are utilizing the maximum power. This is called maximum power utilized by the people. Next thing is, if I am going to pour it, now in the over one hour, you have power consumption. Right? Like at one o'clock, I am consuming some eight hundred watt. At twelve o'clock, I am consuming some thousand watts. Sorry, two o'clock. At some three o'clock, in the morning over time, you are getting over power consumption. Right? Next one. If at twenty four hours, you have over one hour, you are consuming power. Now let me add one. See there. At one o'clock, what is the power consumption by me? Right? In my house, at two o'clock, at three o'clock, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is my added the twelve. All power in a add one. I am dividing it by 24 hours. If you only get that, that is called average power. Is yes or no? Area divided by time period. 
டோட்டல் ஏரியா மார்னிங் டுவெல் ஓ கிளாக் வந்து நைட்டு டுவெல் ஓ திரும்ப அந்த டுவெல் ஓ கிளாக் நான் வர வரைக்கும் நான் டோட்டலாக எவ்வளோ ஓவராக கன்சிடர் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் எல்லா வேலையும் நான் ஆட் பண்ணி ஐ எம் டிவைடிங் இட் பை டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஹவர்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆவரேஜ் பவர் கன்சியூம்டு பை டி ஈக்குவல் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆவரேஜ் பவர் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் தட் ஆவரேஜ் பவர் பை டி இட் லைஸ் சம்வர் ஹியர் ரைட் இட் வில் பிகம் லைக் திஸ் ஒன் இப்போ நீங்கள் எல்லா பவரையும் ஆட் பண்ணி திரும்ப அந்த டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஹவர்ஸ் டிவைட் பண்ணிங்கன்னா என்ன வரும் யூ கெட் சம் வேல்யூ தட் Value might be like somewhere here. I'm just trying to draw a line. It is so that you might get some thousand watts or thousand two hundred watts. That is called average power consumed by the people. Average means more than double power consumed. Okay, can't stand that solo. Yeah, because I have to see that from the alternator side, we have to generate a constant power over time. We need to alternator power. Now speed of current, speed of increase, money power generate money will go here. We have to generate a constant power. We have to generate for that. We are just checking load side. Any number of variations come more than double. First, we are estimating. as a designing engineer first i have to look at all those things before designing the alternator right yes so the thing is sorry before generating the power operating engineer not designing engineer so the thing is as an operating engineer now what i am doing to do i am analyzing all those things right appo nam go over and just see that the variations in between that is the variations in the power with respect to time right the variations in the load power with respect to time is called load curve in this load curve usually we are trying to estimate two people with the help of the connected loads right all these loads are connected here right with the help of this connected loads we are plotting this curve from this plotted curve we are trying to estimate the maximum power consumed by the person that is consumed by the load maximum power consumed by the load and second thing we are estimating the average power consumed by the load now with the help of these three people we are going to estimate the many parameters that things we will see later right so let us continue with this okay that things we are going to consider this is all about load curve right now in this load curve This is the total area of, of the power consumed by the person in my home. That is the total power consumed by me. Yes or no? That is the area, right? That is the total area. That is the demand of me. Now, if we are calculating this total area divided by time period, we will going to give us average demand, right? Yes or no? That is area under load curve. The area under load curve with respect to time period is nothing but my average demand. Are you accepting or not? Yes. So, average demand. I will question like this. My dear examination. Question B. Find out the average demand. Average demand in the sense area under the load curve with respect to time period. That's all. That is called average demand. Or I can say number of units that are being generated with respect to time period. If we are going to go over time, we are going to power the area. Our power we are going to consume. Right? We are going to receive from the alternator. So, directly I can say number of units that are being generated because that power only we are going to consume here. So, initially. So that is number of unit generation with respect to time period, or I can say area under load curve with respect to time period is called average demand. So the next formula, just to write down, right? Average demand formula to write down. That is the average demand in the sense area under load curve. Mark you can write it by yourself. Area under load curve. I am writing in short way because I don't have space here, right? So that is area under load curve divided by duration. Clear? Or I can say what? Number of unit generation. You all units only generate by the with respect to what duration? Number of unit generation. Number of unit generation divided by duration. Let's say what we are generating from here side, no? So from what I can say alternative side, right? So that is the generalized formula to obtain the value of next what I can say average demand, right? So let us see. Let us explain the factors. So the next person now we are going to discuss now that is called the demand factor. Keep that in. So next up we are going to talk about demand factor. See, simply understand the meanings and the words. No need to buy hard anything. Well, before going the exam, just to make a note of it, right? Clear the register in your mind, and then you can go and write your test. Because I'm going to give you a new one. Mark it up on the other one because small, small frictions only, right? Yes. Let us see. First one is area under uh, average demand is over. Next one I'm going to do. Let Let us calculate the second factor. Yes. So average demand is over. Next, I'm going to estimate the demand factor. As I said, there is demand factor DF. Right, simply it will be called demand factor. Write down clearly the meaning of it. Right, so that is called demand factor. For time being, I am not writing these things anyway. Oh, that is called demand factor. But demand factor, you know, I am not going to go. When the moment I am trying to estimate the demand factor, I have to check. We from when I am going to do that. What is the maximum amount of load that is connected here with respect to the installed capacity? Installed capacity, you know. Alternator, alternator, only you have to get capacity to install the new. That is called installed capacity of the alternator. See, number one demand we have to get now. Load side level, the demand level, the load side level, the message level, alternator level. Sir, at one point seven seven kilowatt, what do you mean? I am saying. 
ஆனால் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் கரெக்டாக இந்த ஒன் பாயிண்ட் செவன் செவன் கிலோ வாட்டுக்கு நம்ம டிசைன் பண்ணிக்க மாட்டோம் யுவர் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் மை பி டிசைன் ஃபார் சம் வாட் ஐ கேன் சே டென் கிலோ வாட் டுவெண்ட்டி கிலோ வாட் லைக் தட் ஆஃப்டர் டிசைனிங் நம்ம என்ன பண்ண போகிறோம் ஆஸ் அன் ஆப்ரேட்டிங் இன்ஜினியர் ஐ ஹாவ் டு ஜெனரேட் ஒன்லி ஒன் பாயிண்ட் செவன் செவன் கிலோ வாட் தட் இஸ் தி டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பீப்புள் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தி டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பீப்புள் அண்ட் ஜெனரேட்டிங் திஸ் பவர் பட் திஸ் இஸ் நாட் தி இன்ஸ்டால்டு கெப்பாசிட்டி இன்ஸ்டால் தி கெப்பாசிட்டி இன் த சென்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் தி அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல்டர்னேட்டரால் எவ்வளோ பவரை ஜென்ரேட் பண்ண முடியும் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் இன்ஸ்டால் கெப்பாசிட்டி ரைட் ஸோ வேர் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் 1.71 பாயிண்ட் செவன் செவன் கிலோ வாட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் தி டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பீப்புள் ஃபார் தட் அண்ட் ஜென்ரேட்டிங் திஸ் பவர் இட் டஸ் நாட் மீன் தட் தட் இஸ் தி பவர் ரேட்டிங் ரேட்டட் பவர் ரேட்டிங் ஆஃப் தி ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் கேன் ஜென்ரேட் அப் டு டென் கிலோ வாட் வாட் இஸ் யூ வாட் வாட் இஸ் யுவர் டிமாண்ட் ஐ கேன் கியூ டென் கிலோ வாட் வெதர் யூ வாட் செவன் கிலோ வாட் ஃபைவ் கிலோ வாட் ஆர் சிக்ஸ் கிலோ வாட் ஆர் டென் கிலோ வாட் தட் இஸ் வாட் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் மை கொஸ்டின் ரைட் ஸோ டிமாண்ட் ஃபேக்டர் வில் டீல்ஸ் வித் த வாட் இஸ் தி மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பீப்புள் ரைட் உங்களோட மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் எவ்வளோ ஐ கேன் ஜென்ரேட் மெனி பவர் ரைட் divided by installed capacity that is my rate value right installed capacity so the formula is demand factor can be as what what is given demand engitta mottama see we have plus 2 10th marks la lorya marks sheets 500 marks in 10th standard we are writing for 10 marks right so people can from the government side they can offer 500 marks for you but what is your demand for your ability you might get some for that is you might be getting some 450 or 460 470 that is your ability that is your demand ninga evadana maathu avlo da ungala demand panna mudiyum right your your brain is demanding only for what 470 my marks right out of 500 so the thing is installed capacity in the sense that mark will be fixed like your alternate rate will be fixed but what is your demand ungala ability evadu that is called that is called demand factor very simple right next uh, let me define the next person that is called load factor நீங்க <laughs> <laughs> அப்ப 500 எடுத்தீங்கன்னா என்ன வரும் 500 500 will give you 1 but நாம என்ன பண்ண போறோம் ஐடியலி ஸ்பீக்கிங் just imagine ஐடியலி ஸ்பீக்கிங் நோ ஓகே you can go up to 500 but in practice are we people are getting 500 no we are might be we are getting some 496 497 470 460 like that that is what we are getting right so the thing is 470 490 and 500 in the sense the pack is less than 1 right i can say ideally you might reach 1 yeah that is good profile குட் ப்ரொஃபைல் அப்படின்னா ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் வந்து எவ்வளோ இன்ஸ்டால் அதாவது எவ்வளோ கெப்பாசிட்டி நீங்கள் இன்ஸ்டால் பண்ணீங்களோ அதே பவர் நீங்கள் கன்சியூம் பண்ணுறீங்க எஸ் தட் சிஸ்டம் இஸ் வெரி குட் சிஸ்டம் பிகாஸ் யூட்டிலைசேஷன் ஃபேக்டர் வில் பிகம் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் நவ் ஐ எம் எஃபெக்டிவ்லி யூட்டிலைஸிங் தி ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் ஹேஸ் தி எபிலிட்டி டு ஜென்ரேட் தி டென் கிலோ வாட் பவர் ஐ எம் ஆல்சோ கன்சியூமிங் டென் கிலோ வாட் ஸோ டென் கிலோ வாட் டிமாண்ட் இஸ் டென் கிலோ வாட் அண்ட் எபிலிட்டி இஸ் டென் கிலோ வாட் டென் கிலோ வாட் டென் கிலோ வாட் வில் பிகம் ஒன் பர்ஃபெக்ட் தட் இஸ் ஐடியல் சிஸ்டம் வெரி குட் சிஸ்டம் but the problem is what we are not demanding like that na at sometimes we are operating there is very few loads at sometimes all the loads will be switched on so based on the loads based on the demand that person is always what lying bar less than one ideally that is equal to one but it is always less than one why because maximum demand is always less than the value of installed capacity if it is equal to one i am really very happy for that right yes but uh, in our conclusion enna abina 500 mark ki ninga 490 edukalam can you say sir i got 510 out of 500 is it possible no so the maximum demand enna agada it is never being greater than the value of installed capacity installed capacity equal or not adavada kammiya ning consume panna adavada adhigamana power venum appadina you might looking for some new alternator namma kitta irukka system la ungala enna panna mudiyum 500 mark ku ninga adavada kammiyana mark la edukka mudiyum 500 ku out of 500 i am getting 600 ninga solla mudiyadhu that is wrong approach right yes okay let us see the load factor so next we have to factor is the load effect of the load right so load factor in the sense what is the average power right consumed by the persons or naale ipo naadu enna pannana let me talk about the load now inga na yaar pathi pesirukken appadina ungalku evlo demand from my side that is my ability now what is your ability right i am just percentage that is i am just checking your ability from my level right so enoda knowledge rendu neenga evlo knowledge gain panniringa i am just taking the ratio from load side that is from source side to load side we are looking source side to load side now let me take the load side load factor in the sense it is dealing with the load but load side la nam enna paakanum nina we have to test what is the average load consumed by the load out of the maximum load right so actually the formula is let me write it down then i will explain so that must be how to register the formula in your mind that is very important right so load factor can be written as average demand 
average demand divided by maximum demand divided by maximum demand let me write getting back where is your load factor here it is my load factor right now for this average demand you can replace it by what i can say you can the average demand na vedi solluvom area under load load will be duration correct na let's only in substitute panikkom right that equation can be further written as you can also write average demand can be replaced by area under load curve divided by maximum demand into duration i can also write like that because average demand if we calculate from that angle we are going just time substituting here anyway getting back now load factor we are going to see where is your average demand this is my average demand this is your average demand where is what is the maximum load that is maximum power that we are going to consume this is the point where we are going to consume maximum power actually idha namu eppadi solradu adina load factor idha namu eppadi define gauninga gauninga ipo namu veetla maximum load appadina meaning enna எல்லா லோட்ஸ் நீங்க ஆன் பண்ணிருக்கீங்கன்னு அர்த்தம் கரெக்ட்டா வீட்ல நீங்க கரெக்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் எல்லா லோட்ஸ் ஆன் பண்ணீங்க அப்படினா தட் இஸ் தி பாயிண்ட் வேர் வி பீப்பிள் ஆர் கோயிங் டு கன்சூம் தி மேக்ஸिमम பவர் ஆர் யூ அக்ரி எஸ் யூ ஹவ் டு அக்ரி ரைட் சோ நான் வீட்ல இருக்க எல்லா லைட்ஸ் ஃபேன்ஸ் ஸ்விட்ச் தட் இஸ் ஏசி மிக்ஸி ப்ளோயர் கம்ப்ரஸர் எல்லாமே வீட்ல ஆன்ல இருக்கு சார் அப்ப நீங்க என்ன பண்ணுவீங்க இட் இட் மீன்ஸ் யூ பீப்பிள் ஆர் கன்சூமிங் ஆல் தி பவர் फ्रॉम தி ஸ்டேஷன் फ्रॉम தி டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்மர் சோ தட் இஸ் தி மேக்ஸिमम டிமாண்ட் அப்ப வீட்ல இருக்க நம்ம வீட்ல இப்ப வீட மட்டும் எடுத்துக்கோங்க வீட்ல மொத்தமா எவ்வளவு பவர் இருக்கு out of this total power average ah nam or naalik evlo power consume pannom that is called factor equilibrium we are saying that is called the load factor nam veeta matta paare right total percentage of that is total mark in my home out of that total mark average will what is my mark what is the average mark of my right that is called the load factor right so load factor is apo veetla irukku adha vechi nam define pandrom right so or naalik enala enna pannom maximum evlo power consume panna mudiyum ana average ah na constant ah evlo power consume panite irukka at all points right so that is once again a load factor number define number see that average demand is always present in the of maximum demand see that near observation that is very simple ena average demand put pani kena ninga enna ponuvinga at 1 o'clock what is the power consumed by me at 2 o'clock power consumption 3 o'clock 4 o'clock ellathiyum calculate pani add panuvinga and then it will be divided by total duration 24 hour divide panumbodhu in result you are getting some value that value is less than the value of the maximum power in practice right romba perusa yosikka indha illa illa right appo enna avana average demand is always less than maximum demand if numerator is less than denominator once again this factor also going to be what less than one agree with me yes you got to agree right why because denominator is greater than the value of numerator so that is how we are calculating the load factor now what we have some that is first we have discussed about load curve second we have discussed about average demand now third i have been discussed about demand factor and then i have been discussed about load factor and apart from this we saw one person that is called the connected loads what do you mean by connected loads connected load in the sense veetla irukka ella load nam power system la load side la irukka motta peri neenga kootinga neenga adu on pannuvinga off pannuvinga adha nithaya varum enakku load motta loads oda rating enakku varum avladha that is called connected loads right so we saw five factors and apart from this let me include one more concept that is called the diversity factor let me write diversity what do you mean by diversity let us explain let us let us see what do you mean by diversity factor let me write this things yes. now what do you mean by diversity factor sir why we are discussing about all these things therily edhu discuss panirukom economic economic na enna panna or alternator na install panita and the alternator ne fulla use pannringala illaya இல்ல சார் ஒரு டென் மெகாவாட்ல ஆல்டர்னேட் இன்ஸ்டால் பண்ணிட்டு நான் டூ மெகாவாட் பவர் தான் அதுலேருந்து எப்பவுமே ஜென்ரேட் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் அப்படின்னா அது இன்வெஸ்ட் நீங்க டென் மெகாவாட் நீங்க இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ண காஸ்ட் எவ்வளோ இருக்கும் இட் வில் பீன் க்ளோஸ் நீங்க அதை டூ மெகாவாட் தான் இன்ட்ரைஸ் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கீங்க அப்படின்னா அது வந்து கரெக்டான இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் நோ நோ அப்ப நீங்க என்ன பண்ணோம் உங்களுக்கு கரெக்டா டிமாண்ட் எவ்வளவு இருக்கு நான் எவ்வளவு பவர் உங்களுக்கு சப்ளை பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் அதோட ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் எல்லாத்தையுமே நீங்க டிஃபைன் பண்ணி முடிச்சுட்டு பர்ஃபெக்டா இந்த ஏரியாவுக்கு இவ்வளவு பவரை ஜென்ரேட் பண்ணா போதும் அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு கன்க்ளூஷனுக்கு வந்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் யூ கேன் கீப் கரஸ்பாண்டன் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் நம்ம அந்த பக்கம் யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ரைட் ஸோ அதை நம்ம ஸ்டார்டிங்லேயே பண்ணுவோம் ஸ்டார்டிங் அட் வெரி பிகினிங் வேர் வேர் கோயிங் டு இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் தி பவர் சிஸ்டம் கிளியர் தட் இஸ் வாட் ஐம் கோயிங் நோ எக்கனாமிக் எக்கனாமிக் காஸ்ட் investment is very important clear let us proceed next i am going to discuss about diversity factor of course diversity factors also deals with the load side only let us see let us see how we are going to crunch there is there is crab over diversity factor diversity factor guys is an in our examination right in your the whole summa rendu theme df df avinu elgariya ya abina df avinu some people are defining as demand factor இது டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டருக்கும் இதே மாதிரி ரெண்டு தான் வரும் இதெல்லாம் நீங்கள் தனித்தனியாக எழுதுவாங்க ரைட் நீங்கள் கிளியராக எழுதி வச்சுக்கோங்க டிஎஃப் அப்படியே எழுத உள்ளது டிமாண்ட் ஃபேக்டர் டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் ரைட் ஸோ கிளியர்லி ரைட் ஆன் தி ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் செப்பரேட்லி ரைட் ஸோ டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் அப்படின்னா மீனிங் என்ன அப்படின்னா தட் இஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் தி திங் இஸ் நவ் லேட்டஸ்ட் டைம் இப்போ நான் என்ன எடுத்துக்கிறேன்னா நம்ம வீடு எடுத்துக்கிறேன் இது வரைக்கும் நம்ம பார்த்தது ஒன்லி ஒன
இப்போ நான் என்ன எடுத்துக்கிறேன் நம்ம வீடியோ இல்லாமல் நம்ம நேரில் இருக்க ஒரு டென் ஹவுஸஸ் சேர்ந்து எடுத்துக்கலாம் ரைட் ஸோ டோட்டலாக மை கசின்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ரைட் ஸோ நேரில் இப்போ வீட்டில் இருக்க ரிலேட்டிவ்ஸோட எல்லா ஹவுஸும் நம்ம சேர்த்து இப்போ நம்ம அகைன் நம்ம என்ன பண்ணுவோம் வியர் கோயிங் டு கேஷ் ஃபீ பவர் இப்போ நான் என்ன சொல்கிறேன் அப்படின்னா இன் ஹவர் ஹவுஸ் ரைட் சார் நம்ம வீட்டில் வந்து நம்ம வந்து ஒரு ஒன் மெகாவர் பவர் வந்து எனக்கு டிமாண்ட் வந்து நம்ம ஒன் பாயிண்ட் செவன் செவன் கேஷ் பண்ணுவோம் லெட் எஸ் சே ஃபார் மீ மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ஃபார் அவர் ஹவுஸ் தி மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் இஸ் டூ கிலோ வாட் நமக்கு பண்ணிடுச்சு ரைட் நவ் இன் மை கசின் ஹவுஸ் அகைன் இப்போ அங்கே என்ன இருக்கு அப்படின்னா ஹீ இஸ் டிமாண்டிங் ரைட் லெட் மீ சே ஹீ இஸ் டிமாண்டிங் த்ரீ கிலோ வாட் லைக் தட் சம் அதர் நேபர்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ரைட் மை நேபர்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ டிமாண்டிங் ஒன் இன் ஒன் ஹவுஸ் தேர் டிமாண்ட் இஸ் ஒன் கிலோ வாட் சம் அதர் பீப்புள் தேர் டிமாண்ட் இஸ் லைக் லெட் மீ சே சம் ஃபோர் கிலோ வாட் ரைட் நவ் தேர் இஸ் ஒன் மோர் பர்சன் வில் பி தேர் ரைட் தட் பர்சன் இஸ் டிமாண்டிங் ஃபைவ் கிலோ வாட் லைக் தட் டோட்லி லெட் மீ டேக் ஃபைவ் ஹவுசஸ் செப்பரேட்லி வாட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு நோ சி தேர் இவங்க யார் இந்த பவர்ல யார் ஆக்சுவலா ஒரு வீட்டோட டோட்டல் கனெக்டடோட மேக்ஸிமம் பவர் டிமாண்ட் பை தி ஹவுசஸ் எச் ஒன் எச் டூ எச் த்ரீ எச் ஃபோர் எச் த்ரீ ரைட் ஸோ டோட்டலா இங்கே ஃபைவ் ஹவுசஸ் தட் இஸ் தி மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஆல் தி ஹவுசஸ் மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் தி ஹவுசஸ் ரைட் இப்போ இந்த மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் இப்போ பாருங்க மொத்தமாக டோட்டலி வி ஆர் கன்சரிங் ஃபைவ் பீப்புள் ஹியர் மொத் ஒவ்வொரு தனி தனி தனித்தனியாக பார்க்கும்போது ஃபார் மை ஹவுஸ் மை மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் இஸ் ஒன்லி டூ கிலோ வாட்ஸ் ஃபார் மை கசின் ஹவுஸ் மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் இஸ் ஒன்லி டூ கிலோ வாட் ஃபார் மை நேபர்ஸ் ஹவுஸ் that is only demand is 1 kw 4 kw and 5 kw separately individually when i am looking for right avana thani thaniya paakum bodhu that is the maximum demand now tell me ipo neenga enna pannina you are coming from the what i can say substation right you are an engineer you people are coming there some electrical engineering people are coming there right to test or to identify the maximum demand ipo neenga anga irundhu vandha mottama indha anchu vidhi paapi thani thaniya right total indha anchu vidhi oda reading eduthinga ipo neenga enna pannuvinga appadina indha five people la yaar vandu maximum power consume pandra you anchu perla yaar maximum demand offer pannuvinga my neighbor he is consuming 5 kw yes or no for me my demand is only 2 kw for my gasin only 1 kw for my neighbors they are consuming sir there are three neighbors they are consuming 3 kw 4 kw 5 kw like that but the thing is what happened out of this 5 kw only one person is consuming the maximum power 5 kw clear now diversity factor diversity factor na meaning enna abina how your maximum power will be diverged then there is diverged right to the various loads maximum power consumed by the distribution right distribution of maximum power distributed values of the maximum power for various loads with respect to maximum demand of this load side you you anji perla yaar is the maximum power 5 kw that is lies in the denominator right and out of that maximum power right maximum power individually sum of sum of individual maximum power consumption divided by the maximum demand clear that is the maximum power in the denominator uh, sometimes enna kuduthirupanga appadina in your examination base power will be given base power appadina maximum demand vandu base avve kuduthirupanga load side maximum power will be what consider as 200 megawatt and the mari kuduthirundana and the time ninga enna panavadana ivunga anju perla yaar vandu maximum ninga consider panakudadu there might be some other people are there avungala vachu paakumbodhu total ah vandu base power appo evlo vandirukko adha common ah avanga or power kuduthirundana that is going to be the maximum power anyway simply write in the denominator we are going to consider the maximum power right maximum power whereas in the numerator individual sum of individual maximum demand divided by the total that is sum of individual maximum demand numerator sum of individual maximum demand divided by the maximum demand right maximum demand and the maximum demand abding rather in irukkar way right while comparing all these people or i can say that is called base maximum demand you all are compare panum bodu what is the maximum value whether it is available here or it is separately given in your question செப்பரேட்டாக கொடுத்துருந்தாலும் அதை எடுத்துக்கணும் அதுவரை இவங்க இவங்க அஞ்சு பேரில் யார் மேக்ஸிமம் இருக்காங்களோ அதை எடுத்து நீங்கள் டிராமெண்டர் கொடுக்கலாம் ரைட் டைவர்சிட்டி ஸோ டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் இந்த சென்ஸ் ஹவு மேக்ஸிமம் பவர் இண்டிவிஜுவலி டைவர்ஸ்ட் ரைட் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு மேக்ஸிமம் பவர் ஃப்ரம் தி மேக்ஸிமம் பெஸ்ட் பவர் கிளியர் ஸோ டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் சிம்பிளி ரிட்டர்ஸ் லெட் மீ ரைட் திஸ் திங்ஸ் சி ஐம் ரிப்பீட்டிங் ஆல் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் பவர் சிஸ்டம் வி ஆர் ஸ்டடிங் ஓன்லி சம் ஃபைவ் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் அவர் டோட்டல் சிலபஸ் from our basic of electrical engineering in me or phd there are vast numerous things to learn beautiful things actually they are very interesting but the basis this is one inga neenga strong a edinga adha onnume theriyadhu simple a irukum right in future after joining some phd you will come to know all these things right yeah let us see diversity factor right appa diversity factor enna formula let me simply write. this diversity factor is simply written as right sum of what i can say sum of individual maximum demand individual maximum demand individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand base maximum demand you can write like this base 
மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் யூ கேன் மேக் எ ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் நீங்கள் கீழே வந்து நோட்டில் எழுதிக்கலாம் இதில் வந்து ரொம்ப அதிகமாக இருக்கும் பவர் தான் நம்ம என்ன பண்ணணும் டினாமினேட்ல கன்சிடர் பண்ணணும் அப்படி இல்லை இந்த அஞ்சு இந்த பவரை விட அதிகமாக கொஷின்லேயே வந்து ஒரு பேஸ் ஒர்க் கொடுத்தாலும் அந்த பவர் கன்சிடர் யூ கேன் மேக் எ ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் ரைட் ஃபார் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஃபார் சால்விங் தி ப்ராப்ளம் இப்போ இந்த இந்த டேட்டாவில் ஹவ் யூ சால்வ் திஸ் ஒன் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் திஸ் ஒன் டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் இருக்கிற சம் ஆஃப் இண்டிஜுவல் மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ஃபார் மை ஹவுஸ் மை டிமாண்ட் இஸ் டூ ஃபார் தி செகண்ட் பர்சன் மை கசின் இஸ் ஒன் கிலோ வாட் சம் நைபர்ஸ் மை நைபர்ஸ் ஆர் கன்சியூமிங் த்ரீ கிலோ வாட் ஃபோர் கிலோ வாட் ஃபைவ் கிலோ வாட் டிவைட் பை அவுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஃபைவ் விச் இஸ் தி மேக்ஸிமம் ஒன் ஃபைவ் கிலோ வாட் இஸ் தி மேக்ஸிமம் ஒன் இப்போ இதை ஆட் பண்ணுங்கள் டூ ப்ளஸ் ஒன் த்ரீ த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் சிக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஃபோர் டென் டென் செவன் டென் ப்ளஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் பை ஃபைவ் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி த்ரீ நவ் சி தட் தட் இஸ் த்ரீ ரைட் ஸோ தி கன்க்ளூஷன் இஸ் வாட் டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் அப்படின்னா மீனிங் என்ன வெதர் தி பவர் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் ஜென்ரேட் பண்ணி டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் பண்ண பவர் வந்து யூனிஃபார்மா டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் ஆயிருக்கா இல்ல இந்த மாதிரி ரைட் இனிஷியலா ஒவ்வொருத்தரையும் பார்க்கும்போது ஒவ்வொருத்தர் ஒரு ஒரு மாதிரி பவர் வந்து கன்சியூம் பண்ணிட்டு அப்படின்னா இவர் பவர் இஸ் நாட் யூனிஃபார்ம்லி டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் இவர் பவர் இஸ் நாட் யூனிஃபார்ம்லி டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் சப்போஸ் இஃப் மை பவர் இஸ் யூனிஃபார்ம்லி டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் டு ஆல் தி பீப்புள் யூனிஃபார்ம்லி எல்லா பர்சனுக்கும் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் ஆகுதுன்னா ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பர்சன் இஸ் கன்சியூமிங் டூ கிலோ வாட் செகண்ட் பர்சன் ஆல்சோ டூ கிலோ வாட் தேர்ட் பர்சன் ஆல்சோ டூ கிலோ வாட் ஃபிஃப்த் ஃபோர்த் பர்சன் ஆல்சோ டூ கிலோ வாட் ஃபிஃப்த் பர்சன் ஆல்சோ டூ கிலோ வாட் இப்போ நீங்கள் டைஸ் இஃபெக்ட் கேல்குலேட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் டூ ப்ளஸ் டூ ப்ளஸ் டூ ப்ளஸ் டூ ப்ளஸ் டூ இட் பிகம் டென் டிவைட் பை மேக்ஸிமம் பவர் இதில் எவ்வளோ டூ தான் எனக்கு எவ்வளோ இருக்குது மேக்ஸிமம் டூ தான் எல்லாருமே ஒரே போதும் தானே கன்சியூம் பண்ணுறாங்க இப்போ இது டைஸ் இஃபெக்ட் எவ்வளோ இது பாருங்க ஃபைவ் ஸோ பஸ் ஜஸ்ட் வாட் இஸ் தி டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் திஸ் டூ பர்சன்ஸ் இட் திங்க் இஸ் இஃப் மை பவர் இஸ் நாட் யூனிஃபார்ம்லி டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் டு தி லோட்ஸ் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு தி மேக்ஸிமம் பேஸ் லோட் இஸ் ஒன்லி த்ரீ Suppose if my power is uniformly distributed, for all loads if my power is uniformly distributed, then the diversity factor will become 5. What does that mean? We are effectively utilizing the alternator. Are you getting me? Sir, how do you effectively utilize the alternator? Now, my alternator, especially, right? My alternator has been implemented for. Right? If we have alternator, what do we do? For example, if we have a new alternator, 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 15 kW demand ke enna pandringa alternate vandu implement pandringa appo and 50 kW enna enna vera three loads irukku nachunga exactly let for your better understanding let us take three loads right alternator namak namma design panna alternator vandu it has been designed for 15 kW ipo namma enna panniterukku appadina see that one person is consuming only 2 kW right another person is consuming 3 kW indha mari vandha that is called non uniform distribution Suppose all the people are consuming 5 kW, 5 kW, 5 kW. In the way, consume another one. See that. In the case, the first case is 2 kW, 3 kW. Another person is consuming 4 kW. This is the 2 plus 3 plus 4 become only 11 kW. There is, I can utilize the alternator up to what? 15 kW. So here, we are not effectively utilizing the value of alternator. There is, in the second case, if all the people are consuming 5 kW, 5 kW, 5 kW, almost it is breaking. is reaching the utilization right maximum that is we are reaching the maximum demand of the alternator right so what is the conclusion here what we are trying to understand from here it is the beauty of a diversity factor it indicates if the person is if the power on the load side is uniformly distributed it indicates we are utilizing the alternator effectively so minimization factor appa enna aduna cost vandu minimum cost right for that we are requesting minimum cost எப்படி சார் நீங்கள் காஸ்ட் மினிமம் சொல்கிறீங்க ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் சீல் ஃபிஃப்டின் கிலோ வாட்டில் நான் ஆல்ரெடி டிசைன் பண்ணேன் ஐ மீன் இசிங் ஃபிஃப்டின் கிலோ வாட்டில் நான் பவரை கன்சியூம் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் இப்போ நான் செக் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கேஸ் பாருங்களா ஃபிஃப்டின் கிலோ வாட்டில் டிசைன் பண்ணிட்டு லெவன் கிலோ வாட்டில் தான் யூஸ் பண்ணிட்டுருக்கேன் இஸ் இட் எக்கனாமிக் நோ வை லெவன் கிலோ வாட் தான் உங்களுக்கு வேணும்னா நீங்கள் லெவன் கிலோ வாட் ஆல்ரெடி டிசைன் டிசைன் பண்ணிக்கலாம் நீங்கள் எதுக்கு எக்ஸ்ட்ரா வந்து ஃபோர் கிலோ வாட்டர் கால்ட்ரெட் டிமாண்ட் பண்ணீங்க So that is what? Extra. I am investing. More amount of money. In the fall, extra 4 kW I insert for the right? power I generate. For the I need extra copper, copper wires, extra voltage stretch, another extra insulation, size of the alternator. Right? Everything will be different. For that, cost wise. Cost wise. I have been invested more money. It is waste of cost. No? So what I can suggest here? Distribution. Diversity factor in the sense. Power has to be uniform. If the power will be uniformly distributed, then the diversity factor will become very high. See there? Power is uniformly distributed, diversity factor will become 5. Power is not uniformly distributed, diversity factor will become only 3. So what is the difference between these two people? Uniform distribution will always give you very high value of diversity factor. Non-uniform distribution of the power factor
ஃபார் யூனிஃபார்ம் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் அப்போ கன்ஃபியூஷன் என்ன அப்படின்னா டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் எவ்வளோக்கு எவ்வளோ அதிகமாகுதோ டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் எவ்வளோக்கு எவ்வளோ அதிகமாகுதோ அவ்வளோ கோலம் என்ன இருக்கும் வி ஆர் யூட்டிலைசிங் தி ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் எஃபெக்டிவ்லி அண்ட் காஸ்ட் இஸ் ரெடியூசிங் அப்படி நீங்கள் யூட்டிலைஸ் பண்ணனா நீங்கள் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா அமௌண்ட் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் வந்து ஒரு டென் டுவெண்ட்டி மெகாவாட்டுக்கு யூ யூஸ் டிசைன் பண்ணிட்டு யூ ஆர் யூட்டிலைசிங் ஒன்லி ஃபார் டென் மெகாவாட் just we are understanding right so the finalized conclusion diversity factor in the sense sum of individual maximum demand divided by maximum demand of out there is maximum base demand while taking this ratio if the value of diversity factor is more if it is keep on increasing in the sense cost is decreasing investment cost is decreasing appo diversity factor epdi epdi irukum it has to be very high that's all right so in the economic point of view diversity factor has to be very high guys in our previous case munadi paathadala less than 1 appadi naan dhaan potta irukken like when i was discussing about demand factor when i was discussing about load factor i took less than 1 because we know basically understood right but your diversity factor is very high it is it is greater than 1 it is 2 3 4 5 6 adhigama adhigama enna avum cost is decreasing so diversity factor has to be very high clear yes let me know this things right so we understood many things now apart from this there are few more things to discuss let us continue let us continue till now i did not complete yes let me start from the load curve once again already we have drawn the load curve yes how the load curve is going okay something is going like this right at some point there comes the maximum power yes with respect to the least power definitely will be in kilowatt right with respect to t time period is it will be in hours only it will be in hours only let us proceed with this yes that is load curve with respect to time period now we are going to learn few more things next to ipo na alternator ku varu once again i am looking for alternator ipo namma ipo namma enna paathrom nalla yosichu paarenga load factor demand factor diversity factor idu ellarume na yaar patti pesana load i was talking about load alternator with respect to alternator what are the changes in my load abidana paathrom when i was discussing about demand factor what i have done ipo ninga demand factor le load factor le rendu theru eduthu paathinga appadina so first demand factor abingiradhu what is the average demand right so we have to look at what is sorry what is the maximum demand with respect to installed capacity that is what demand factor whereas when i am looking for load factor what i have done average demand divided by maximum demand right so but both people are less than one that things we saw but the conclusion is what i was talking about load i was talking about load yes now we are going to discuss about alternator so till now which are the parameter that we saw i was kept my that is i kept my consideration with the loads now i have to keep the same consideration with the source appo alternator la indha mari enna factors la we have few more things to discuss so first one is card plan utilization factor first one is called plan utilization factor how we effectively the people are utilizing our plant plant na yara alternator yes or no in power station i have an alternator whether you people are utilizing the alternator effectively or not that is what my question how will you give the answer for that question right so the thing is first we should give the answer for plan utilization factor yes right similarly we are also going to calculate the second person that is called plant capacity factor plant capacity factor now we have to calculate two persons right ab a plant utilization factor abina how effectively we are utilizing the plant for that we are going to put maximum demand from the load curve just to take this one maximum demand where is this one this is my load curve this is the maximum demand abina meaning ana inga evlo load la demand avudho ipo nam enna paakrona we are looking the alternator with respect to loads previous case la enna paatham i was analyzing the properties of the load uh, loads with respect to what alternator now here what i am doing maximum demand of the load with respect to alternator only evlo effective ah you utilize pandringa or depending on abina meaning enna seidha first i write maximum demand divided by installed capacity then you will understand right that is called installed capacity similarly plant capacity factor in the sense we are doing it for average demand divided by installed capacity average demand divided by installed capacity install capacity let us first it let us first it right now what i am going to do first write down these two statements and then we will proceed further plant utilization factor na enna common ah use paringa idu meaning enna alternator nam evlo effective ah utilize pandrom abina meaning enna installed capacity ipo ipo dhaan arindhu pesna or alternator 20 megawatt konde neenga install panni vechirukinga ana neenga adha evlo power consume pandreenga maximum demand உங்களுக்கு லோட் சைடில் எவ்வளோ டிமாண்ட் மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் அப்படிங்கிறது லோட் சைட்லேருந்து நீங்கள் டிமாண்ட் பண்ணுறது நான் வந்து டுவெண்ட்டி மெகா வட்டிக்கு என்னால் பவர் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பண்ண முடியும் வெதர் யூ பீப்புள் ஆர் யூட்டிலைசிங் மீ எஃபெக்டிவ்லி ஆகலாம் தட் இஸ் தி கொஸ்டின் சப்போஸ் இஃப் யூர் மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் இ
only 15 megawatt but i am having the ability to generate 20 megawatt that is called flat utilization factor maximum installed capacity alternative installed capacity evlo now adoda adoda adund maximum evlo pora delivery panitta irukka alternative evlo pora delivery pannom based on the demand ungalku demand 15 megawatt na abingra why na 20 megawatt generate panna mudiyuma no why edhuk generate pannom neenga ketta 15 megawatt na adha mudhu neenga generate pannom remaining things are waste that is cost wise losses remaining in generate money na the last adha poga adha na yaar supply panna mudiyum there are no people to consume that power right so the conclusion is plant utilization in fact will be deals with the what is the installed capacity of the alternator what is the maximum demand of the people appo ne evlo power alternator the delivery pannreenga avladha see there once again this maximum demand is always less than that of installed capacity are you agree you have to agree you have to agree why because installed capacity 20 megawatt appo na maximum demand may be equal to installed capacity like our mark like our mark same thing that we saw right so the thing is plant utilization factor in the sense effectively we have to see maximum demand of the people to be installed capacity similarly plant capacity factor in the sense what is the average demand of the people with respect to installed capacity with respect to installed capacity right so that is what we are looking for actually ipo munadi two cases namu paathom ya right when well, a first case enna paathirukku appadina first when i was designing about uh, defining about demand factor and load factor what is our demand factor in the sense it is deals with the maximum demand in by all connected loads all connected loads veetla mottama ne evlo loads connect panirkinga what is your maximum demand right so that is called the demand factor similarly when i am looking for load factor load factor la manner do that is called average load we are considering we are considering average demand average load or average demand divided by what we are considering we are considering maximum load or maximum demand clear just to see the difference here now when i am looking for plant utilization factor we are talking about maximum demand will be installed capacity of the alternator because there i was talking about what oh, sorry here i was talking about load லோட் இங்க கூட என்ன சொல்றாங்க வீட்ல எவ்வளவு லோட்ஸ் இருக்கு அதல நீங்க எவ்வளவு பவர் கன்சூம் பண்றீங்க வேரியஸ் ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் பார்க்கும்போது என்னதா மேக்ஸिमम டிமாண்ட் ஆல் ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் எவ்வளவு பவர் சப்ளை பண்ணுது பட் வாட் இஸ் தி ஆக்சுவல் டிமாண்ட் வாட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவல் இன்ஸ்டால் கெபாசிட்டி ஆஃப் தி ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் தட் இஸ் தி டிஃபரன்ஸ் बिटवीन டிமாண்ட் ஃபேக்டர் அண்ட் பிளான்ட் ரெட்ரிசேஷன் ஃபேக்டர் ரைட் எஸ் நவ் சிமிலர்லி பிளான்ட் கெபாசிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் அப்படினா என்ன வாட் இஸ் தி ஆவரேஜ் டிமாண்ட் சீ தேர் in the graph see all the things i'm doing here only that is the maximum power average demand might be somewhere like here average one might be somewhere like here so when i am looking for see there our plant capacity factor pathi kesum bodu what i have to consider we have to consider average demand to be installed capacity average demand abina maximum right people on the art ne evlo power and epdi consider panitirukanga right avanga general avanga constant power average power abingiradhu constant constant abina meaning enna normally neenga oru naal la over one hour liye over power consume pandreenga adu okay அப்ப மொத்தமா கூட்டி ஒரு நாளைக்கு கன்சென்ட் ஜெனரலா அந்த 24 hours ல ஆவரேஜ் நீங்க எப்பயுமே ஏரோ பேஸ் பவர் ஆவரேஜ் பவர் இன் தி சென்ஸ் பேஸ் பவர் அது பேஸ் பவர் அப்படினா தட் பவர் இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ரைட் ஆவரேஜா அந்த வீட்டுக்கு வந்து ஒரு 10 கிலோவாட் எப்பயுமே தேவை சார் தட் சார் தட் இஸ் नॉट ஆவரேஜ் பவர் ரைட் அந்த ஆவரேஜ் பவர் தட் இஸ் அப்ப அந்த பிளான்ட் கெபாசிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் எதை பண்ணுவோம் அப்படினா வாட் இஸ் தி கெபாசிட்டி ஆஃப் தி ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் பட் வாட் இஸ் தி ஆவரேஜ் பவர் டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பீப்பிள் ரைட் சோ தட் இஸ் தி டிஃபரன்ஸ் யூட்டிலைசேஷன் ஃபேக்டர் டீல்ஸ் வித் தி மேக்ஸिमम டிமாண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பீப்பிள் plant capacity factor constant of people ke evlo thevapadu epeyume what is the average demand of them i don't want to know that maximum peak load irukka thevalla minimum evlo nanu thevalla average or nalaga avanga evlo power thevapadu from the alternator side from the generator side right so that thing is there that is calculating the help of plant capacity factor right now we can extend our discussion with this right so here let me write this expression further average demand let me write average demand right divided by installed capacity average demand of installed capacity into as is and now let me write like this average demand divided by maximum demand average demand divided by maximum demand into maximum demand maximum demand divided by installed capacity shall i write like this is there any mistake just i'm reducing the expression because the examination data might be given in a different way right so if i in the manner different panna kapina how will you proceed further right just now we saw maximum demand divided by installed capacity is nothing but plant utilization factor yes or no yes average demand divided by maximum demand average that is average demand divided by maximum demand yaar load factor yes or no yes so average demand divided by maximum demand can be replaced by see that maximum demand ah divide paniringa maximum demand ah multiply paniringa idu rendu thing neenga cancel paninga you are getting the same formula so i am taking this expression i am multiplying it by demand factor and i am dividing it by demand sorry and uh, say maximum demand ah multiply multiply pannittu we are alternating the expression why 
அந்த வழியில் நம்ம கேல்குலேட் பண்ண அவ்வளோதான் தட் இஸ் இன் இயர் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் டூயிங் திஸ் ஒன் ரைட் தட் இஸ் ஜெனரல் ஃபார்ம்லாம் அப்போ ஜெனரல் ஆவரேஜ் டிமாண்ட் ரொம்ப மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ஆவரேஜ் டிமாண்ட் ரொம்ப மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் இஸ் நோட் ஃபைன் லோட் ஃபேக்டர் வேரியஸ் மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ரொம்ப இன்ஸ்டால் கெப்பாசிட்டி இஸ் நோட் அவர் பிளான் யூட்டிலைசேஷன் ஃபேக்டர் ஸோ தி ஆன்சர் இஸ் இட் கேன் ஆல்சோ பி ரிட்டர்ஸ் பிளான் கெப்பாசிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் கேன் ஆல்சோ பி ரிட்டர்ஸ் ஆவரேஜ் டிமாண்ட் ரொம்ப மேக்ஸிமம் டிமாண்ட் ரொம்ப யார் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் லோட் ஃபேக்டர் இன்டோ maximum demand will be installed in capacity is nothing but plant utilization factor clear that is how we are writing the plant capacity factor clear anyway average demand also always less than installed capacity yes or no demand average demand of the constantly constant demand of the people that is installed capacity always greater than the value of people demand of the fm installed capacity adhigam odha irukum appo thana alternate ah enna panna mudiyum thevaiya poru ungala generate panni tharam mudiyum சி எங்கிட்ட டுவெண்ட்டி மெகாவட் இருக்கு நீங்க டென் மெகாவட் கேட்டீங்கன்னா நான் ப்ரொவைட் பண்ணுவேன் ஓகே ஐ எம் ஓகே நீங்க டுவெண்ட்டி டூ மெகாவட் டிமாண்ட் பண்ணீங்க பட் ஐ ஹவ் ஓன்லி டுவெண்ட்டி மெகாவட் கேன் ஐ டூ இட் நோ தட் இஸ் நாட் பாசிபிள் ஸோ ஆல்வேஸ் ஆவரேஜ் டிமாண்ட் ஆல்சோ வாட் லெஸ் தன் ஒன் ஆவரேஜ் டிமாண்ட் ரொம்ப இன்ஸ்டாலிங் கெப்பாசிட்டி லெஸ் தன் ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ லெஸ் தன் ஒன் ஒய் ஆல் தி பீப்பிள் டெனாமினேட் டம்ஸ் ஆர் கிரேட்டர் தன் தி நியூமரேட்டட் டம்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஆல்வேஸ் லெஸ் தன் ஒன் டோன் ஃபர் கேட் பிகாஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் ஃபார் நம்ம ரைட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ரைட் லெட்டஸ் பிளஸ் லெட்டஸ் கண்டினியூ ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் ஓவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐம் இன்ட்ரடியூசிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபேக்டர் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் சர்வீஸ் ஃபேக்டர் ரைட் ஆஃப் நெக்ஸ்ட் மேக் அ நோட் ஆஃப் இட் சர்வீஸ் ஃபேக்டர் சர்வீஸ்னா மீனிங் என்ன சர்வீஸ்னா மீனிங் என்ன ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் வந்து எவ்வளோ நேரம் சர்வீஸில் இருக்கு உங்களோட ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் ரைட் எவ்வளோ நேரம் நீங்கள் ஆன் பண்ணி வச்சுருக்கீங்க ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் லோட்ஸ் வந்து ரைட் ஃப்ரம் தி லோட் சரி நம்ம பார்க்குறோம் அப்படின்னா லோட்லாம் எப்படி இருக்கும் ரைட் ஸோ லோட பொறுத்து தான் யூர் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் வில் கோயிங் டு ஒர்க் ரைட் நவ் திங்க் இஸ் எவ்வளோ நேரம் வந்து வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு தட் இஸ் இன் ஹவு மெனி ஹவர்ஸ் we are going to operate our alternator with respect to total duration out of 24 hours what is the number of hours that we are going to use our alternator that is called the service factor right it is the service factor after known as duty cycle in power electronic circuits point of view right so power electronic circuits we are going to study that is called the duty cycle duty cycle in digital electronics also you might have seen these things you will see in digital electronics i have teach these things in power electronics i have teach these things because duty cycle abina meaning enna na what is meant by duty cycle let me complete first duty cycle in the sense now our duty right now we all are duty la irukom that is on time we are working with respect to total time like our watch time right gate to office ku namu 4 hours how many hours we are working right per day in our office how many hours i am taking classes how many hours you people are attending the classes with respect to total time period that is called a duty right duty cycle effectively we are utilizing it right yes so here in power system that term is called the service factor service factor right in how many hours or alternator or in service right that there is going to be what operating hours right that is called operating hours divided by total hours operating hours on time right yes that is called operating hours divided by total hours that's all that is how we are calculating the value of service factor simple term no? yes So next uh, we are going to talk about reserve capacity abina illa ga reserve capacity abina meaning enna ipo namba dam la ninga padichirupinga illa dam la irukavanga illa dam la undu reserve capacity abin irukku ninga dam ku poi irundina irukum right adha water oda level undu evlo evlo level of water undu ninga save panni vekka mudiyum like in liters right like that uh, dam or your dams might be having the capacity of saving what i can say 3 crores liters 10 crores liters like that nanga undu define panni vechirukanga right you can see that one with uh, in terms of volume la define panni vechirukanga right with respect to a particular volume right so the thing is reserve capacity appadina evlo water undu ungala save panni vekka mudiyum in the generation point of view in transmission point of view here uh, there is uh, alternate power la generate panna kapra ஜென்ரேட் பண்ண போகிறோம் எவ்வளோ போகிறோம் வந்து நம்ம சேவ் பண்ண வச்சுக்கோங்க ரிசர்வ் கெப்பாசிட்டி இந்த சென்ஸ் சீதர் இப்போ மை ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் மை ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் ஆர் மீ ஐ எம் ஆல்டர்னேட்டர் ரைட் ஐ எம் ஹேவிங் தி எபிலிட்டி டு ப்ரொடியூஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி மெகாவாட் பட் யூ பீப்புள் ஆர் கன்சியூமிங் ஓன்லி ஃபிஃப்டின் மெகாவாட் நான் வாட் இஸ் ரிசர்வ் கெப்பாசிட்டி ஃபைவ் மெகாவாட் ரிசர்வ் கெப்பாசிட்டி இந்த சென்ஸ் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பவர் தட் ஹஸ் பின் கன்சர்வ் டில் நவ் தட் ஃபைவ் 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 மெகாவாட் நீங்கள் யூட்டிலைஸ் பண்ணவே இல்லை அவ்வளோ தான் இருக்குது எஸ்ஆர் நோட் ரிசர்வ் கெப்பாசிட்டி இப்போ வாட்டர் உங்கள் வீட்டில் இருக்க டேங்க் எடுத்துக்கோங்க டேங்க் ஃபுல்லாக நீங்கள் யூஸ் பண்ணிங்க ஃபுல்லாக ஃபில் பண்ணிங்க ரைட் ஃபில் பண்ணதுக்கப்புறம் இப்போ வாட்டர் நான் உங்கள் கிட்டே கேட்குறேன் வாட் இஸ் ரிசர்வ் கெப்பாசிட்டினா இப்போ வாட்டர் வந்து ஃபுல்லாக இருக்குது நீங்கள் அதை பார்த்து ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் சொல்லுவீங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் டேங்க்ல வந்து என்ன பண்ணிங்கன்னா ஆஃப் ஆஃப் தி வாட்டர் தான் நீங்கள் யூஸ் பண்ண போகிறீங்க ஓன்லி ஆஃப் ஆஃப் தி டேங்க் அப்போ என்ன ஆகும் ரிசர்வ் கெப்பாசிட்டி ஆஃப் தி டேங்க் இஸ் வாட் இட் வில்
reserve capacity in the sense for alternator we have to see what is the installed capacity of the alternator what is the amount of investment expenditure money wise la paakanum appadina nam evlo salary vaangro evlo expenditure namak evlo salary irukku nam evlo save pandrom par month ku saving that is called reserving so coming back of alternator la what is the total capacity of the alternator what is the maximum power required by the loads so installed capacity minus maximum demand is nothing but what reserve capacity yes or no maximum demand abingiradhu that much of power we are going to consume from the alternator rest of power be conserved we are not going to utilize it right so the conclusion is what reserve capacity is known as installed capacity minus demand maximum demand of the people right so that can be written as let me write reserve capacity right <coughs> so reserve capacity can be written as what installed capacity right installed capacity minus let me write this thing separately in the space So first we have to consider installed capacity minus maximum demand. That's all. Demand of the people. Clear. Next sir, there is one more question. There is called last factor. Last factor in the sense average right load side. What is the average loss? See that is not that much important. Just we are calculating, right? Some type of factors are there. Just make a note of it, sir. <coughs> it is average loss divided by loss at the peak load. That is loss with respect to maximum load. That's all. Peak load, na maximum power you consume, na mudi yolo loss hunda ekar. Average ja loss hunda ekar na yolo hunda ekar, right? So that is the base of it. It is like that. See the average demand divided by maximum demand. What is the load factor? Is yes, there no load factor? See the average loss will be loss at the maximum demand. That's all. There is not the last factor. There are no big difference, right? <coughs> I hope now you are getting very clear idea, right? Next, uh, finally, there is one more term. There is called plant use factor, right? Not utilization factor. That will be different from this one. Just to make a note of it, the terms are there, right? In your examination, you can expect some questions. Now, I just want to know. If you are going to make a calculation, then all factors will be there, right? Only in the point of economic, economic, economic power generation. Topic itself, what that is economically, it will be generated by power, right? So finally, we are going to discuss now. There is called plant use factor. Guys, make very clear notes. Plant use factor. Some people are calling this use factor. Use factor. And you know, plant capacity factor. I am saying, what is capacity factor? They call it. Plant capacity factor or capacity factor, इन्टर में उन्होंने आ, अरे मतलब plant use factor ले use factor ले define बना गए उन्हें फॉर्म बना राइट, so use factor अभी ना number of unit generation right, so that is amount of unit generation or number of unit generation, I will simply write like this, this much of things does not write right stories, unit generation right, energy unit generation, total amount of power that will be generated right. Unit energy power that is unit power generation with respect to divided by installed capacity in operating hours, right? That is installed capacity, installed capacity into number of hours, number of hours, right? So that is called plant use factor. Unit generation of dinner. Over kilowatt, we are generating some power, right? So, sir, each and every one hour, we are generating some power, right? So that is unit generation, right? So, what is the total number of unit generation with respect to installed capacity under number of hours, right? So that is the unit generation will be given to you. Unit generation, now see there. Actually, we have to say, na, or alternator is there, and the alternator installed capacity is 20 megawatt. Unit generation indicate plant use factor, right? Na. Uh, it indicates utilization factor will be different from use factor. You have to understand utilization factor. अभी ना वो alternator रखा अभी ना alternator ये वो लोग effective वाले नहीं utilize करेंगे इन वाला question mark. That is utilization factor. ये नवर 20 मेगावाट जनरेट करना होगा. नहीं ये वो लोग power एक दिन कम से कम नहीं है. अदा utilization factor. Um, so the thing is use factor अभी ना वो alternator वाले running लग गए. For six months तो ये वो लोग power वाले alternator delivery करने लगे. ये वो लोग power वाले नहीं ये वो लोग नया वाले alternator वाले नहीं use करने लगे. Like on the one year la alternate la the yolo la nengi use kuna nengi ya. So one year la 365 days into 24 hours. So totally you will get around total number of hours per year. 
total number of hours per year per year right total number of 365 into we have to multiply by 24 i think wait a minute that is 8760 right i think right yes i didn't remember just to make a note of it that is 8760 only right so the total number of hours per year 365 into 24 what do you mean by 24? In one day, we are using, that is, uh, one day, we have 24 hours. Then, 365 days, we have 365 into 24. We are getting 8760 hours, that is, per year. In the next example, I am going to 8760. That is, I don't like that. I am going to find that. Anyway, so that is the order. 8760 reverse order, then we can keep 0 with that, right? So, that is the total number of hours. In the example, fraction of second will be important in our examination, right? It is not a big value to memorize. 876 is the simple register, right? Yes, and getting back, getting back to the compression here. Our plant use factor of the meaning, sir. One year, la, what the 8760 hours, right? You know, you know, hours, la, how many hours, right? Number use for alternate on the euro another run, that is the number of hours, total number of hours per year, total number of unit generation of dinner, what the money in the Vasha, the euro power and alternate on the use for anything. For an example, first day. Today, right? Today, from alternator, for example, from the Kalpakam, right? My village is consuming 1 megawatt, just assume, right? 1 megawatt I am utilizing per what I can say 24 hours, la, or 10 hours, what I am doing, the alternator use. Hai. Remaining, irka, uh, what I can say, out of 12, 14 hours are there, out of 24 hours, la, 10 hours I am utilizing, 14 hours my village shut down. In the army, the power I utilize, la, 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 work so the thing is, what is the conclusion? Per day, 10 hours I am utilizing the alternator with the 1 megawatt power. Upon you know, no. similarly, 24 years, that is 65 days, 365 days into per day we are utilizing the alternator only for 10 hours. So 365 into 10, totally we are getting 3650. Upon the total number of hours that you have power you can generate. That is right, that is called unit generation, unit power generation. Clear? That is called upon utilization factor in the what is the installed capacity? For 365 days, that is 8760 hours, alternate runner, alternate installed capacity 20 megawatt. Let us assume, guys, listen, 20 megawatt on the alternate installed capacity. Upon the alternate runner, end up on a money on dinner, 8760, that is 8760 hours, per hour, the 20 megawatt power generate on the other in the Mari, 8760 hours, the power generate on you. Total amount of energy, see there, power into time period, total amount of energy. That can be delivered by the alternator. And a numerator, you can consume it. You can consume it. You can use 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 it. With respect to your side, your demand, unit generation per year. That is the total number of units that we are consuming per year divided by total amount of power that can be consumed by the alternator. That is called the plant use factor. So, plant utilization factor will be completely different from plant use factor. I hope now you are getting the clear idea. Utilization in the sense effectively. Other you have power generate from one year. Use now one year. Right? That is utilization factor. Use now one year. Meaning, what do you power consume? Out of total power. That is the difference between utilization factor and the use factor. Don't think too much. You have to use your power. And one more thing is. So you are not getting very clear idea about the things. They are very easy, I know, right? In around the clear up right? But you have to remember all those things in the, into your mind, right? You have to buy out these things, right? That is from my heart, I am telling these things. Anyway, you can keep remember all those things. You mind the irkum, right? Because you understand the Kandiba Purujakum, you know, you know time video rewatch putting on the mind of register. But the thing is you have to register these things into your mind, in your exam point of view. That is very important. You know, question is, you will be tested for two more. I am repeating because from this area till now questions are there, but last few years there was no questions. But if you are expecting question kata, you will be tested for two more. Direct of formula way you will be tested for one more. But if the data subsequently definitely you will be tested for two more. You will be tested for two more. But it is not worthwhile. Just a given data, you mind the name of a formula mind the one more. And you substitute one more. Two more is over. Fraction of second, you will get the answer. After you substitute one more, you will Right? So, calculation will become very easy in your examination. So, don't forget which are the terms that, I, that we have been talking in the point of economic power generation. That's all. Clear? You will solve some problems. Right? Now, I have some questions with me. Actually, I forget to post it in the group. Sorry. Uh, they. Mm. Okay. Let me solve it directly. Now, I am unable to do those things. Because that's a big book. I cannot send it to you now. Yeah, let me open it. Okay. 
ओके ओके द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जस्ट राइट ऑन द डेटा राइट ये ना ना कुंटर का हमना ये पावर सप्लाई स्टोरी वाला बना राइट नम्बर डेटा वाटे कलेक्ट करने के लिए जस्ट टू सी ना इतनी साफ़ ना बना बिकॉज़ डेटा ऑफ़ इस सब्सिट पन जाता नहीं बुद्ध सारे तो पन्ना नहीं जाता हम फार्म में तेरे लिया अपडे डेटा को ड्रॉइंग इस सब्सिट पन्ना बोल बनाएं सुन दो परिसर नहीं है तो पन्ना नहीं करेगा टर्म्स आर वेरी इजी राइट एंड देयर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ मेमोराइजिंग एनीथिंग्स हियर आई सेड ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टैंड பண்ணி தான் நீங்க பயோ பண்ண தேவையில்லை சார் எனக்கு கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் फ्रिक्शन இருக்குனா திரும்ப இன்னொரு டைம் ரீவாய்ஸ் பண்ணுங்க அப்போ உங்களுக்கு புரியலையா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பை ஹார்ட் தி ஃபார்முலா ஃபார்முலா பை ஹார்ட் பண்ணிட்டு அதுக்கு அப்புறம் ரீவாய்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தி டம்ஸ் ரைட் பட் யூ ஹேவ் டு ரிமெம்பர் தி ஈக்வேஷன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் வாட் ஐ வாண்ட் இன் யுவர் எக்ஸாம் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூ ஃபார் யூ நீ இன்டர்வியூ அது உங்களுக்கே புரிஞ்சிரும் போது knowledge ஃபுல்லா வந்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் நீ ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா யூ கேன் ப்ளே வித் யுவர் சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ரைட் தேர் ஆர் அனலிட்டிக் ஸ்கில் வில் பிகம் ரைட் இட் வில் பீ டவர் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா ஓகே லெட் அஸ் see फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन என்ன கேக்குறானே யா பவர் சப்ளை ஏஜென்சி யூ நோ நீ டு ரைட் தி ஃபாலோவிங் லோட் பவர் சப்ளை ஏஜென்சி வந்து என்ன பண்ணானே யா பவர் சப்ளை ஏஜென்சி சப்ளைஸ் தி ஃபாலோவிங் லோட் டு டிஃபரண்ட் கன்சூமர்ஸ் ஒரு ஒரு ஏஜென்சி இருக்கு ஒரு பவர் ஸ்டேஷன் இருக்கு அவங்க என்ன பண்ணாங்க டிஃபரண்ட் கன்சூமர்ஸ் வந்து பவர் சப்ளை பண்றாங்க ரைட் அப்படி கன்சூமர் பவர் சப்ளை பண்ணும்போது என்ன ஆகும் என்னென்ன கன்சூமர்ஸ் இருக்கா அப்படினா தி டிஃபரண்ட் வெரைட்டி ஆஃப் தி கன்சூமர்ஸ் தேர் இஸ் a பவர் பிளான்ட் தட் பவர் பிளான்ட் இஸ் சப்ளைங் பவர் டு தி வேரியஸ் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் லோட்ஸ் The first type of load is called domestic load. They are given domestic load. Second type of load is commercial load. Third type of load is industrial load. They are given like this. If we remember the three type of loads, so they are the ones we are going to be given. The maximum demand, first person, right? Is the domestic load. Domestic load are the maximum demand that they are given. Two thousand kilowatt, I think, right? That is two thousand kilowatt. Second, diversity factor. Diversity factor of this person is 1.5. Various demand factor, guys. I said already. Please uh, write down fully. Diversity factor, demand factor. Demand factor is given as what they are given 0.7. Second question is commercial load, right? In the commercial load, again maximum demand of the commercial load is maximum demand is uh, it is also consuming 2000 kilowatt only. 2000 kilowatt comma diversity factor is 1.4 diversity factor is 1.4 comma demand factor is uh, 0.8 again there is one more industrial load its maximum demand is 5000 no there is uh, yeah 5000 kilowatt only right 5000 kilowatt comma diversity factor is 1.2 And the demand factor is a full of the year for time being. I have been writing like this, right? Di di demand factor is going to be zero point nine. Now the question is, right? If overall diversity factor is one point five, question is if overall diversity factor, overall diversity factor, diversity factor. If the overall diversity factor is uh, what they are given, one point six. Yes. Yeah, one point six only. Now the question is, what is the maximum demand? That's all. What is the maximum demand? Question is, what is the maximum demand? Just recollect, right? Just to recollect by yourself, right? What is the thing here? Maximum demand. Just we have to calculate. I think uh, we put in public, right? Sorry, guys, I did not notice. So we will put it in private, right? ओके नो इश्यूज जस्ट इट कंटिन्यू बनेंगे मैक्सिमम डिमांड राइट तो मैक्सिमम डिमांड एवरी कैलकुलेट कर लेंगे मैक्सिमम डिमांड के अंदर फार्मूला सी देयर बट टेक अ फार्मूला वी वी हैव सीन ओनली वेरी फ्यू फार्मूलास राइट कुड़ते के डेटा है ना ओके मैक्सिमम डिमांड डायवर्सिटी फैक्टर इज 1.7 राइट रेस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स आर डेटा ओके குடுத்து இருக்க டேட்டாவை என்ன குடுத்துறாங்க 2 கிலோவாட் டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் சி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் தனி தனியா இந்த மாதிரி மூணு பேர் குடுத்துறாங்க வெரி சிம்பிள் தி क्वेश्चन இஸ் मैक्सिमम டிமாண்ட் இஸ் வாட் நம்ம கிட்ட முன்னாடி நிறைய ஃபார்முலா இருக்கு அந்த ஃபார்முலால எந்த ஃபார்முலா யூஸ் பண்ணா வி will get the answer வெரி சிம்பிள் ஜஸ்ட் இமேஜின் என்னன்னு குடுத்துருக்காங்க இங்க ஓவர்ஆல் டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் இஸ் गिवन நவ ஜஸ்ட் திங்க் அபௌட் இட் வாட் இஸ் தி ஃபார்முலா தட் வி சார் டு கால்குலேட் தி டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் வி சா ஒன் திங் ரைட் வாட் இஸ் டைவர்சிட்டி ஃபேக்டர் சிம்பிளி கேன் பீ ரிட்டன் ஆஸ் क्वेश्चन This is not worth for even one month. I am telling, 
frankly, just to see now what I'm doing here, it is not worth for one month, but you will be definitely be tested for two months, right? You can trust me. So thing you see there, diversity factor. What is the formula? Diversity factor can be done as sum of individual maximum demand. Sum of individual maximum demand. Sum of individual maximum demand divided by what I'm going to do? We have to consider the maximum demand. We have to consider the maximum demand. Are you agree with me? Is there any mistake in my statement? No. I did not make any mistake. From this, we can rectify ourselves. Now, what is our target? Question is what? Maximum demand. So, my rectification is my demand. This is the question again to come Now, in the formula of directed time, why? Because question the whole statement clearer put it down. In the path only, we might like to answer, but diversity factor is the answer. Right? So, just I was thinking like that. Diversity factor for the sum of individual maximum demand. Now, what do you think? Individual are Maximum demand of the first person is given. Maximum demand of the second person is given. Maximum demand of the third person also given. Cannot be find out the maximum demand now. Why not? We can easily we can proceed. Overall diversity factor is given as for 1.6 should be equal to right. Overall, what am I the system of diversity factor? Put the dollar. Maximum overall maximum demand is that is what I want. Shall we proceed? Should be equal to at many kilowatt? Individual demand 2000, 2000, 5000. Total will become 9000 kilowatt. Question is over guys. Question is what maximum demand. If you have reduced you will get the answer. Clear? That's all. Let us take the second one. See, first time you will have friction, but definitely questions are very, 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 very easy. Just you have to remember 5, 6, 2, 5, 1, 1. Yes. Please you can fix. Yeah. Next one is. Next we are going to discuss about. Let us take the second question. Yes, it is here. Wait a minute. Very difficult to handle. Yes, let us take. A generating plant. Okay, first I will uh, collect the data from the question, right? And then we will proceed. Let me run this things. So, uh, take small, small notes, right? Short data, I will take sample number one, eight, four, two, six, one. That is enough, right? You don't need anything because questions are very simple in examination. I am repeating once again. You can trust me. Definitely, questions are very easy because it is not a logical questions. They will test your brain and stuff. The question is, a generating plant works on a maximum demand of, or a generating station worker, generating station is working on a maximum demand of 500 megawatt. Given it is, maximum demand is 500 megawatt. Maximum demand is 500 megawatt, right? The annual load factor being 60 percentage, right? Annual load factor, given it is what? Load factor, annual, one year, right? They have been tested for load factor. Annual load factor is given for, uh, sorry, it is given for 60. It is given 60 percentage. Percentage of the you have to just to divide it by 100 to get the actual load factor value. We know load factor and the demand factor is less than, uh, are less than 1. Are you agree with me? You have to, you have to, right? So load factor is always less than 1. Yes, that is 0.6. Given is 0.6. And the second thing is what? Uh, capacity factor, right? They are given, see, the thing is, a generating station, a generating station works on a maximum demand of six, uh, sorry, 500 megawatt. The load factor is given as 0.6 and uh, capacity factor. They are given capacity factor. I hope you all have remembered, I only told you, plant capacity factor can also be called capacity factor. Yes or no? So now, yeah. See, that is what they are given. They are talking capacity. Capacity factor has been given as 30 percentage. Right? 30 percentage in the sense, we can write like this 0.3. Is there any mistake in the conclusion? No, no, no. Now the question is, find the reserve capacity of the plant. Find the question is, reserve capacity. Can you please do it? Let me wait for a while. Right, for you, please test your brain. Because I said logical questions. Formula is in our hand. Reserve capacity. First, write down the formula for reserve capacity. What is the formula? Reserve capacity can be written as installed capacity. Installed capacity minus maximum demand yes or no yes maximum demand various maximum demand is already given directly we can substitute 500 megawatt but do you know the installed capacity i don't know the installed capacity but some other data are given for us load factor is given plant capacity factor is given now check load factor what is the formula to obtain the load factor in order to load factor now in the formula in the formula have there is maximum demand every installed capacity Yes or no? Right? To obtain the value of, uh, is there any mistake in my word? See, 
wait a minute. I will write like this. Demand factor, load factor. Now, the solar mode I will mistake the mistake. I want to correct the mistake. So, now we will write the mistake. Right? So, there is demand factor. Let me write separately. What shall we do? Demand factor we are considering maximum demand divided by connected nodes. Right? We are writing like this. That is correct. I will write this. So, solar mode is a mistake. Right? That is connected load. That is load factor. Load factor is not going to be It can be that is the average demand. Right? Divided by maximum demand. Okay, okay. They are given some data. All of it is there. Now, how shall we proceed further? Okay, load factor. What is the number of the area? Demand factor is there. Next, question is plant capacity factor. How will you write down the plant capacity factor? Plant capacity factor can be written as. I hope you all are remember. Will not be for all of us. I will not say anything. Pass it on. Average demand. Yes or no? Yes. Divided by installed capacity. Installed capacity. Formula must be written there. Formula will be written there. Only idea of no. Formula will be put in the order. Put it in the data. Then compare with the data. You will get the. Definitely you will get the idea. If a question comes, put it in the data. Put it in the data. Which part? And again, there is some capacity. This part. Formula is what? Installed capacity minus maximum demand. Yes. Maximum demand is 500 megawatt. But I don't know the installed capacity. But they are given some other data. Load factor is given. This is my load factor. Average demand divided by maximum demand is my load factor. Right? Reserve capacity is 500. Yes, someone saw. See there, I mean, formula used to be maximum demand per month. Yes, load factor per month. Yes, and this subject will be average demand per month. If you do not have to do the average demand, you will have to do the plant capacity factor per month. Yes, average demand will be able to calculate the subject. You will have to do the subject capacity factor per month. That is why you will have to do the subject. Is it worth about two months? No. The thing is, you have to remember the formula. Right? Guys, I will have to make a mistake. Anyway, that is correct, I know. But, in the area, I will have to make a wider pace of words. Words will have to make a mistake. Sentence, you will have to make a mistake. Right? I will practice that. Mostly mistake, you will have to make a mistake. You will have to make a mistake. That's all, right? So, demand factor is what? Maximum demand will be connected load. That is called demand factor. Fix it by yourself. Now, you know the meaning of everything. Now, the first one, you know how to rectify these things, right? And then, mind correct and control will be done. Now, notify one of them. You can do it. You can do it. So, load factor is this one. Plant to give us the factor is this one. That's all. I hope now you are getting the answer. Someone posted uh, the answer is uh, 500 megawatt. I don't know, right? You can do it by yourself because I don't have answer. I have only questions. Okay. Shall we take the next one? Yeah, let us proceed. Once again, the question is uh, power generating station is there. Let me rub this one. Guys, please do it by yourself. Uh, is there any other people who solve this one? Just uh, average demand level or maximum demand is given as 500 megawatt. Load factor is 0.6, right? It will become 300. Up average demand 300 or Yes. All of you getting 300, right? So 300. Other than that, what I can say? Oh, maximum demand is 300. Yeah, average demand is 300 or more. Five times of six will become yes. That is 300 only. Yes. 300. Then you subtract. Then you know that it will become 30. So 300. Installed capacity is 300 divided by how will subtract by 0.3. So 300 by 0.3. If I substitute, it will become 3000 divided by that will become 1000, right? Hmm. 100, right? If I will substitute. Are you getting 500? Installed capacity minus 5 by that. Okay, I did some mistakes. Please correct it by yourself. If it is 500, just fix it by yourself. Take the next one. Next one is, uh, let me write, let me run this one. Okay, let me run this question. Yes. Let us take the next one. The question is what? Given it is, a generating station has a maximum demand. Okay, let me write the questions for you. I am not going to solve any questions here. Right? Because numerically bringing the answer is not a big deal. But you have to get it. Hopefully. Okay, okay. All of you getting 500. I made some mistakes in my brain. But that's right there. Okay. Just I can fix it. You know the formula, right? Yes. Uh, take the one. Actually, here it is. A power generating station has the maximum demand. Once again. The maximum demand is given as, I think that is 5000 kilowatt. Hopefully, 50,000 kilowatt. Not 5000. Sorry. 50,000 kilowatt, right? <coughs> Actually, 50,000 kilowatt and another 50 megawatt, right? You can write it, right? That is known as 50 megawatt. That is the writing in kilowatt, right? No problem. Next, and a connected load, right? You could end up with connected loads. You know the meaning of connected loads. What do you mean by connected loads? Connected loads are the side load that you can add to the load. You can add to the load, you can add to the load, you can add to the load. All the loads are the value added, right? So, connected load. All the connected loads together, it is given as 
80,000 kilowatt I think that is 80 megawatt let me write the answer 80 megawatt right now the number of units supplied annually right the total number of unit generation are supplied right total number of number of unit generation are supplied the number of units supply annually per year we put it down right the total number of units supplied annually right one year so that is given as 28 into 10 power 7 now the question is just to find the load factor under demand factor that's all question number one is load factor question number two is demand factor can you please do it just write down can you connect the own is the maximum demand then um is the maximum demand there connected load is known number of unit generation is the number of unit for load factor to do first write down the formula for load factor and the demand factor bring the answer do it first I hope you all are remember the formulas, right? Maximum demand I did, okay. I will solve it for you. Not a big deal because it is very simple question. Right? Guys, listen. Give a manual now. First, I will write the demand factor because I, that is, we first talked about, that is, we first talked about demand factor only now. Yes. Demand factor now in the formula. And then we, we talk about load factor, right? <clears throat> thing is demand factor determining and we should consider maximum demand right while calculating demand factor i have to consider the maximum demand divided by installing capacity right we have to consider sorry see that that is the point that i am making mistake right? so i told you already that is going to be what connected loads we are we are see installing capacity we are alternate we are total power you are going to power consume right that is why we are going plant utilization factor this is the wheat, we have to go to the wheat, we have to go to the wheat, we have to consume the wheat. This is the demand factor, load side we are looking at, right? So always in the denominator, connected loads in the house side, right? Okay, press it, we have to go to the house side, maximum demand is given as 50 megawatts, right? Let me consider 50 megawatts, 10 power 6, divided by installed capacity, yes, sorry, not installed capacity, connected loads, that is also given as 80 megawatts, 80 to 10 power 6, very simple question, right? That is going to be 5 by 8. You can also cancel it. That is 0. Point. I think. I hope that is correct. You can do it by yourself. Yes. Someone bring the answer, right? That is for demand factor, right? Next one. Second one. Let us proceed. Shall we get the load factor now? Yes. Usually, first, I saw, that is, I told you. How can you write the idea of uh, load factor? Load factor can be written as average demand, yes, divided by maximum demand. Yes, that is correct. That is what we saw for demand factor and load factor. First we saw demand factor and then we have been concluded load factor. Load factor, it can be written as average demand divided by maximum demand. But we know one thing. What is the formula to obtain the average demand? I hope you all have remembered. To obtain the value of average demand, let me rub these things because now you know the answer for this one. Right, let us write. <coughs> yes. Average demand divided by maximum demand. Average demand divided by maximum demand. Yeah, the, right, that is what that is we are looking for demand factor. We are looking for demand factor. Sorry, it is load factor. Demand factor is lower now? Yes. Maximum divided by, sorry, average divided by maximum. Shall we proceed? Yes. Average divided by maximum 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 do you have maximum, uh, sorry, average generation here, average demand question to LA, how can we solve it? In the formula, we have written now by LA, come on, come on, yes, I have written this formula in the alternative way, it can, it can also be written as number of unit generation divided by, in the denominator, actually, what I know about now, average demand can be replaced by number of unit generation divided by the hours, total number of hours that we are considering, duration, with the, in the denominator, we have maximum demand also, let us consider. Okay, guys, listen. One thing you have to understand clearly. The number of unit generation of the pace of the 
it will be clearly specified whether they are doing it for year whether they are doing it for year or whether they are doing it for month or whether they are doing it for day ஒரு நாளைக்கு இந்த யூனிட் ஜெனரேஷன் கொடுத்துருக்காங்களா இல்லை தேர்ட்டி டேஸ்க்கு கொடுத்துருக்காங்களா இல்லை ஒரு மந்த்துக்கு ஒரு இயர் ஒன் இயர்க்கு கொடுத்துருக்காங்களா அந்த டேட்டாவை கிளியராக கொடுத்துருப்பாங்க ஒய் இது தெரியாம யூ கேன் சப்ஸ்டியூட் டியூரேஷன் கேர் நவ் திஸ் டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் டியூரேஷன் இஸ் பர் டே அப்படின்னா இட் வில் பி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் அவர்ஸ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் பர் மந்த் தென் வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் யூ ஹவ் டு மல்டிப்ளை தேர்ட்டி இன்ட்டு டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் பர் டே வி ஹவ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் அவர்ஸ் பர் மந்த் வி ஹவ் தேர்ட்டி டேஸ் ஸோ தேர்ட்டி இன்ட்டு டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் வி ஹவ் டு கன்சிடர் பர் இயர் வி ஹவ் டு கன்சிடர் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் டேஸ் இன்ட்டு டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் per day i got 24 hours per year we have 365 into 24 hours that is what i mean 20 that is what 8760 that is you can cross check i hope that is what we are getting that is what i got in mind right you can do it what what any cross check on right any anyway, given is for per year yes or no the total number of unit generation they are given clearly that is 28 into 10 power 7 divided by maximum demand is given in our question that is what it was given 50000 or i can say 50 megawatt simply 50 megawatt or see that 50 megawatt abindrad nam 5 into 10 power 7 endralama is there any mistake in my calculation just to see that megawatt abindrad 10 power 6 sir in the zero in the zero number take now 50 vand 5 into 10 power 1 abindrad endralama so 10 power 1 into 10 power 6 will become 10 power 7 so 5 into 10 power 7 into duration evlo 1 year 1 year evlo varum 8760 anyone Please tell me the answer. That's all. Hey, the question is over. Two questions only. They are they have been asked, right? We found the answer for both of these questions, right? Guys, I don't have answers, right? I said only that is it is practice questions, right? So you have to do it by yourself. Please upload your answer if you found, right? Let us go ahead. Next question: Maximum demand. They are asking. Okay, same, right? The questions are being repeated. Diversity factor. Same data. It is covered by the middle line. the last factor set up there is no okay i hope that is uh, i think that is enough right 0.000645 0.000645 how low value come here wait a minute i have to check the answer sorry checking this is that question data no there is no key answer for this question ஒரு <laughs> right there might be some mistakes in the data right okay it does not matter because values are very less it might be nearer like 0.5 0.6 0.7 one ku nearer adha varum but our data is correct now register panna the correct da they might make some mistakes in the data okay leave it so this is all about what we saw this is all about uh, like power economic power generation so ipo nam idu varaikum nam paatha factor ellame edukaga appadina nama power system la cost investment right enakku theva i how to utilize the plant effectively and we have to supply the power yes we can fix it right okay this is our good basics it is over next what we are going to do actually our target is we are uh, looking for what i can say transmission line yes or no yes so economy now the thing is economically our power will be generated now now we are uh, ready for that is ready to generate the economically that is ready to generate the power economically yes next what i am going to do that generated power will be going to be injected into the transmission line why in order to carry the power from sending into receiving end. ஓகே இப்போ நான் லோடை பார்த்துட்டேன் லோடோட ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் வச்சு நான் சோர்ஸு பார்த்தேன் நான் சோர்ஸில் வந்து பவர் ஜென்ரேட் பண்ணியாச்சு இப்போ அந்த பவர் வந்து நான் சோர்ஸ் வந்து லோடு கொண்டு போகணும் யாரை யூஸ் பண்ணி இப்போ நம்ம கொண்டு போக போகிறோம் எஸ் ஸோ ட்ரான் டு ட்ரான்ஸ்மிட் தி பவர் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் சம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன்ஸ் ரைட் இப்போ நம்ம ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைனில் எந்த ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைனை யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஹவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு கிளாஸ்ஃபை தி ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் ரைட் லெட் எஸ் ஆல் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் பட் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு கிவ் சம் ஓவர் வியூ ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைனில் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் நம்ம என்னெல்லாம் டிசைன் பண்ண போகிறோம் யூஸ்வலி ஃபஸ்ட் திங்க் இஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் அப்படிங்கிறது ஒரு கண்ட
Yes or no? The first priority will be given for conductor. In this universe, we have three types of material. Once again, those materials are once again. In an area, semiconductors are there, conductors are there, insulators are there. Now, purpose of those three people might be, we know that things, right? What is the purpose of insulator? Insulator of the other, that it will provide some insulation. It will block the flow of current your voltage. Flow of current and voltage will be blocked by the insulator, right? So, the purpose of insulator can act as a blocker. Right, that person will going to block the voltage and the current flow. That's all. That is the purpose of insulator. Various semiconductor. What is the purpose of semiconductor? Just I'm giving introduction because the, the next subject uh, zone we are going to start power electronics now. Slowly we are entering into semiconductors also. Right, I'm just giving introduction. So the next thing is we are going to design semiconductor also. Now what is the purpose of semiconductor devices? Semiconductor in the sense partially we are going to generate the power. That is the device will going to conduct partially. For a particular duration, after a certain time period, you know, meaning uh, semiconductor in the sense partially conducting. That is the meaning of semiconductor. What you are trying to conclude, the thing is, insulator in the sense completely block the voltage and the current. Whereas semiconductor, for a particular duration, it will block. Not I cannot compare it with the time period. I can compare it with the amount of voltage and the current. Right? It is not varying with respect to time period. The thing is, amount of voltage and the current. Right? Up to a particular level of the voltage and the level of the current, you can block the supply voltage and the supply current after a particular duration sorry after a particular value of voltage and the current it will what partially it will conduct partially it will black partially it will conduct based on the level of the voltage and the current that will be desired even in our hvdc transmission lines also we are going to design what you might uh, read these things right semiconductor devices are we are using that is scr silicon controlled rectifier we are using HVDC transmission line. Nowadays, slowly we are trying to, that is shifting our, uh, that is what I can say, properties from that is AC to DC because DC is highly flexible for us, right? We will see. Uh, the, uh, the advantage is that I will tell you at the end of this chapter, definitely we will talk about HVDC transmission lines, right? But now, not now. But I am giving introduction. About the semiconductor, I will partially connect to partially connect to the end of the use of the at some points. Like in our, especially in our HVDC transmission line, it's especially we are going to use this device in power electronic switches. That is semiconductor material. Finally, we are going to discuss about conductor. What is the purpose of conductor? Conductor is completely attached to conductor. Ideal conductor is its conductivity has to be infinity. Its resistivity has to be zero. Yes or no? That is resistance. But conductivity is infinite. That person has the ability, right? Or what I can say, that is free electrons. We can say, right? It has to keep only free electrons. Okay. So conductor, that is the difference. So conductor and along, it has only you can see the flow of current and you can shift the voltage from one point. That is, you can share the voltage from one point to another point. That's all. So now what we are going to do out of this three material, which material we are going to select for our transmission line? Now we are generating session and power generate money again. Yes. Power in the sense voltage and current. In order to carry the voltage and current out of this three material, the feasible one is conductor. Yes. So we are going to select the conductor. Uh, there are many classifications are there, like uh, insulator and other materials now. Check on semiconductor and other materials are there. That things are all I will control when the moment I am starting semiconductor devices, especially when I am giving introduction for analog electronics. Okay, not now. So coming back. So the thing is here what I am going to do. Right now we are in transmission, so I am going to select conductor. That is the feasible for me. After selecting the conductor, what we are going to do? Next, I have to transmit the power from one point to another point. For that, the transmission, transmission, power is being transmitted from power is being transmitted from one point to another point with the help of a line. That line is called a transmission line. This transmission line we are going to transform the information. Communication channels. Like that here, we are transmitting the electrical signal. Power frequency signals are being transmitted here. Right? So that power frequency in the sense with the help of that is according to our Indian system, our system frequency will be fixed here. With the help of that is with the help of that is one nation, that is what I said, one nation, one grid, one frequency system. Same frequency will be all the Indian systems are interconnected together with a single frequency. Clear? Yes. 50 Hz. Now, conductor in the minor problem, we are going to transmit the power. Okay, sir. Now, let us see the classification. In the conductor, we can use, if you want to use aluminum, you can use. If you want to use copper, we can use. If you want to use gold, we can use. If you want to use silver, you can use. So, whichever the things that you want, you can use. There are many conductors. But which material we are going to use now? Let me tell you. In our transmission line, I am going to use aluminium. In our electrical machines, we are going to use copper, right? In a high precision devices, right, where there is no error while designing some uh, instruments, right? If, if, if I don't want error, if you want to keep zero error, then the people are giving programs for gold.
gold. That's all, right? So the thing is, anyway, the standard type replacing materials are called what? Aluminium and copper. But anyway, why we are not using copper? Why we are going with aluminium? There are many things to discuss. Now let us take these two people, right? I am rubbing these two things. If you are going to go, gold is a cost of gold. I am telling you, the power system is an electrical engineer. You are going to mind the FMI and money is the first time. Money, you are going to go. Okay. In the power system or design, you are going to go. 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 That's why we invest in it. Right? The future is going to go. Now, if you look at this, you are going to go to the aluminum and the copper. The copper is going to go to the gold. Right? So, if you are going to go to the silver set up, we are going to go to the friends. Right? So, the thing is, in this order, we can use these three materials. But out of these three materials, which is the low cost aluminum. Right? Anyway, copper also we can use. Not a big difference, right? We can use aluminium or copper, but we are always doing preference for aluminium for our transmission line. And uh, in our, uh, what I can say, machine setup, we, we are giving preference for copper, right? So what is the difference between these two people? Why in transmission line we are using aluminium conductors? Especially, in transmission line, we have a big loss. That loss is called corona loss. You might be hearing that now. Corona loss, corona, corona, corona. If you want to use it, that loss is called corona loss, right? And the corona over our transmission line will loss itself. Already that world war it exists, right? So in our transmission line, we have a loss that is called corona loss. That corona loss will be very less in case of aluminium, right? So effect of the corona loss is very less in the sense of we are used to know. We will see what it will be corona loss and the other one will be printing, you will see. But right now, remember, now we are going to discuss about a term that is called corona loss. That corona loss will be very less in case of aluminium conductor when I am comparing it with the copper. Why it is minimum? Why because corona loss, right? That corona, that is corona loss is very less, right? That is all I can say. First you will see, it will be directly proportional to electric field intensity of the very conductor. Whereas, electric field intensity in electromagnetic theory, we will see how to bring this into the right now remember the formula. Electric field intensity of a conductor can be defined as lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon r. Right? Whereas, r denotes the radius of the conductor. R denotes the radius of the conductor. Just to take these two people alone, remaining all those things, I will explain in electromagnetic theory. Right? So, right now, electric field intensity will going to be the reciprocal of the radius of the conductor. You can keep small r or capital R, let me keep yeah, small r. Red is something like that, that is enough. Let us go ahead with this, right? And uh, one more thing is, when I am comparing, if you are comparing with the value, if you are comparing with the value, the thing is, first conclusion is, when I am comparing this value, when I am comparing with the value, when I am comparing with the value, first thing is, I am just going with these things. Resistance offered by the aluminum material, let me write it as rho L by A. Similarly, resistance offered by the copper, Copper value is the royal by A. First I will write this one. This is resistance. R denotes resistance. R stands for resistor. If you want to compare it, copper is a very good conductor. If you want to compare it, copper is the effective use. That's why in our electrical machines are not using copper. Copper is a very good conductor when I am comparing it with one, aluminium, right? So in this case, if you compare it, this is a good conductor. If you want to compare it, you want to compare it. The value of the resistance offered by the aluminium material is greater than the value of resistance offered by the uh, what I can say copper. Yes or no? First conclusion. Aluminium to resistance, copper to resistance to the aluminium material. If you compare it with the what you can suggest? When I am going up to this one, let us control. If you compare it with the aluminium let me define few more things. If I define few more things, I will define the area. Right? When I am looking for length, first, sorry, first I will define the resistivity. If resistance of the aluminum is greater than the resistance of the copper, yeah, either one is either copper or aluminum resistance or aluminum. Why? Because either copper or aluminum is very good conductor. For a good conductor, for the aluminum resistance or the aluminum it has to be very less. In that point of view, I can say aluminum or resistance or the copper or resistance or aluminum are not so far, right? So let us continue. Let us continue with this. We have few more things, right? Resistivity I should talk, and here also I should talk. Anyway, I am going to keep same length. Length of the wire will be same. From sending end to receiving end, we are going to fix the length. This is setting end. This is the receiving end, but here, the sending end on the thing you start to make cash mirror and power generator here. And how to transport this power to the Karnataka? Kilometer will be fixed, na? Kilometer will be reduced, na? Only one. Karnataka will be reduced by cash mirror power to the only one. No. So length of the transmission will be fixed. I don't need to talk about this one. But part of the resistivity and area. Size of the connector will increase only one. First, in the size will be reduced. You can keep this one also. Size of the connector can be increased, but length I am not going to increase. Length will be fixed, right? Because that is the transportation distance. 
So the thing is, if we are getting copper plate work mode, if resistance copper plate aluminium is greater than copper, in order to bring the rest of conditions are going to be see that resistivity of the plate aluminium also going to be greater than the area of resistivity of the plate copper. Similarly, area also going to be right. Area of the sorry guys, let me draw this. Area of the plate aluminium also going to be greater than the area of area of the plate copper. I got few more confusions here, guys. Directly how to compare. इधर रेसिप्रोकल आता है सर इधर ना पोट रहा है ना वी हाउ टू टेक द रेशियो दिस रेशियो वी हाउ टू कंपेयर रेशियो इन द सेंस रेसिस्टिविटी ऑफ द अल्युमिनियम टू डिवाइड बाय एरिया ऑफ द अल्युमिनियम विल बिकम ग्रेटर देन द एरिया ऑफ कॉपर बाय द अल्युमिनियम राइट शुड बिकम ग्रेटर देन द एरिया ऑफ रेसिस्टिविटी ऑफ द बाय द कॉपर डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया ऑफ द बाय द कॉपर क्लियर दैट इज द एक्चुअल स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम दिस ओनली वी आर ब्रिंगिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट सेपरेटली நீங்க சார் இந்த ரெசிப்ரோக்கல் இருக்கு மாதிரி இருந்தா என்ன யோசிக்காதீங்க ரைட் ஐ டுக் தி ரேஷியோ ஃபைன் தட் இஸ் ஓவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஹவர் இப்ப ஏரியா வந்து அதிகமா இருக்கு அப்படினா சி தேர் ஃபார் आवर கண்டக்டர் ஏரியா கேண்டிடன் இஸ் பை ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் சோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கேண்டிடன் இஸ் பை ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் தட் இஸ் ஃபார் அலுமினியம் தட் இஸ் ஃபார் காப்பர் ஐ ஹோப் இட் இஸ் விசிபிள் ஃபார் யூ ஆல் இஸ் இட் ஓகே எஸ் சோ தட் இஸ் பை ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபார் அலுமினியம் திஸ் இஸ் பை ஆர் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபார் காப்பர் இப்போ பாருங்க ஏரியா இஸ் அலுமினியத்தோட ஏரியா காப்பர் ஏரியோட அதிகமா இருக்கு அப்படினா நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டேட்மென்ட் வாட் ஐ கேன் சே Radius of the aluminium also going to be greater than the value of radius of the copper. Can you agree? Yes. Now we need to find the electric field intensity. If any electric field intensity copper we are talking about, na radius of the aluminium is greater than electric field intensity offered by the aluminium is reciprocal to the radius. Yes. From this I can say field intensity is going to be less than the value of copper field intensity. Now why resistance and field intensity are reciprocal to each other? If resistance is greater than the of copper resistance, then the field intensity, electric field intensity offered by the copper will become greater than the of electric field intensity offered by the aluminium. Now, if electric field intensity, if aluminium field intensity, copper field intensity will come here to be now. See that corona loss is directly proportional to electric field intensity. Yes, so corona loss will be reduced. So the advantage is which material we have to use now? I have to use aluminium. Why? Because corona loss will be reduced. Corona loss point of view will be reduced. The corona loss will be reduced followed by efficiency of the transmission will be improved. So the conclusion is: first thing is, now you can write this statement directly. Sir, corona loss offered by the aluminium material is less than the value of corona offered by the copper. Right? You don't have to memorize this sentence, right? Just do remember, right? <coughs> yes. Next, sir. Corona loss in the material will be corona loss will be the efficiency now will be less than this. Last of the aluminium material, I think, coming out of the efficiency of the aluminium material will become greater than the value of efficiency of the copper material. From this, I can provide the first conclusion. So, which material will be preferable one? So, in the point of corona loss, first thing is in the point of corona loss, the thing is the highly preferable uh, that is preferred material that is, that is priority will be given to aluminium. And the second advantage, add to the end of it, it is its tensile strength is very less. Tensor strength, one one side la pata mana sih dia. Always we have contrast sih. Nama electrical machine la mana pata mana. Transformer pun tu discuss mana itu boleh. Non-linear property, one side la pata boleh. Ini harmonic sorry deh. Adanya non-linear ini orang baka baka boleh kasih kami aja. Apa na? Yang ada priority boleh deh. Non-linear mana priority boleh? Why investment? In my point of view, money is my uh, main task, right? Majority, right? I have to look at the machine in that point of view. So in the same way, ini yang ada mana itu next advantage is. Tensile strength of the aluminium conductor is very uh, very less, very less. That is strength of the camera. Sir, strength of the camera is that that is a disadvantage. Then, of course, in one point of view, that is a disadvantage. Here, yeah, because strength of the camera is that you copper every day, sir, aluminium conductor, what are you doing? Yeah, but tomorrow, what are you doing? It will be suspended in between two poles. It will be hanging like this. If you can't move it, then there will be heavy wind flow. Your conductor will be break down. Why mechanical pressure? विंडो तो अधिक मार्टिक्स चल रहा है ना वो ये लग अंदर स्ट्रेस चल रही है ना वो इट इज़ ऑटोमेटिकली ब्रेक डाउन यस सो इन वन पॉइंट ऑफ़ यू दैट टेंसर स्ट्रेंथ कमी आ रही है स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ़ दी कंडक्टर कमी आ रही है ना इट इज़ नॉट गुड फॉर मी इट्स बैड सर ऑफ़ कोर्स बट इन अनदर पॉइंट ऑफ़ � Like take your rubber band, it is it has very less tensile strength. We can easily flex it, we can stretch it, we can easily stretch it, right? So like that, sir, tensile or flexible are given meaning. Man, what I mean, with the help of the transportation material, we can easily transport the aluminium from one point to another point. So the thing is, you guys will know about it. Transportation, aluminium connector, that is industrial, that is full of design, ready made. That is the purpose. What I mean, that is a big bar. That is the bar. That is the bar. Right? नहीं आप बात रखेंगे आई होप नमरी इधर नहीं आ रहे इतना बात रखेंगे राइट सालों में तो अंदर नहीं ईसीएस होती है ना 
because it has flexible flexible malay easy malay right so indha mari sutti full ah nalla sutti nalla bundled right now bundled nalla or big arrangement ready panni and the conductor enna panikalama and we can easily transport lorry or truck is only we can transmit from one point to another point like with the help of uh, what i can say railway that is goods will send there na so we can easily transport the material from kashmir to kanyakumari or tirunelveli chennai bangalore karnataka wherever you want you can transport it. so that is the advantage for me because it is easily flexible that can easily be right that is the property of the aluminum and the vela patha aluminum aluminum current vandu easy ah nam or eduthu inna eduthu kondu poyalam easy ah nam sutti eduthu poyalam but in another point of la paakumbodhu when i am putting transmission line la pogumbodhu enna avana i had a problem that is called sag right let me introduce the person that is called sag anyway we have to talk about merits and demerits and nam enna pannu we have to reduce effects pathi we have to see okay sir aluminum current choose panna na solla idam எதுக்காக லாசஸ் வந்து கம்மியா இருக்கு சார் எஃபிஷியன்ஸ் அதிகமா இருக்கு ஸோ சூப்பர் கொரோனா லாஸ் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூல பாக்கும்போது வி ஆர் கிவிங் வி ஆர் கிவிங் ப்ரையாரிட்டி ஃபார் அலுமினியம் காஸ்ட் வைஸ் வி ஆர் கிவிங் ப்ரையாரிட்டி ஃபார் அலுமினியம் ஒன் திங் இஸ் ஓவர் ரைட் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் திங் வெயிட்டை கம்பேர் பண்ணி பார்க்கும்போது இட் இஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் வெரி லெஸ் டென்சல் சென் ரைட் ஒரு காப்பர் கண்டக்டர் நீங்க அலுமினியம் கண்டக்டர் கம்பேர் பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னா வெயிட் ஆஃப் தி அலுமினியம் இஸ் வெரி லெஸ் வி கேன் ஈஸ்லி ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் இட் இஸ் ஃபிளெக்சிபிள் அப்ப என்ன அவங்க வெயிட் கம்மியா இருக்கணும் இட் இஸ் வெரி லெஸ் ஸ்ட்ரென் சீத வெரி சிம்பிள் ஒரு ராட் எடுத்துக்கோங்க ரைட் என்னோட ஃபிங்கர் சைஸ்ல ஒரு ராட் இருக்கு நஷ்டம் வாங்கிக்கோங்க இதே ஃபிங்கர் சைஸ்ல ஒரு ரப்பர் பேண்ட் பக்கத்துல இருக்கு ரெண்டு பேர்ல யாரோட வெயிட் அதிகமா இருக்கும் சிம்பிளி வி கேன் சே ராடோட வெயிட் அதிகம் சார் அவ்வளவுதான் அதான் நான் சொல்றேன் டென்ஷன் செல் கம்மியா இருக்குனா வெயிட் ஆஃப் தி மெட்டீரியல் இஸ் வெரி லெஸ் எஸ் பிகாஸ் இட் இஸ் ஹைலி फ्लेक्सिबल இப்போ ரப்பர் மாதிரி ரப்பர் வந்து எவ்வளவு பெருசா இருந்தா வெயிட் கம்மியா தான் இருக்கும் ரைட் வி ஹேவ் ரப்பர் பக்கத்துல ஒரு ராட் வச்சு அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணி பாக்கும்போது ராடோட வெயிட் அதிகமா இருக்கும் ராட் ராட் ரைட் சோ இது திங்க் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் தி கன்க்ளூஷன் ஹியர் फ्लेक्सिबल செல் ஓகே சார் பட் வாட் அபௌட் திஸ் சாக் வாட் யூ மீ திஸ் சாக் பாஸ் clear as sack we should talk about two people here one is clear as and the other one is sack <coughs> let us see sack in the sense after if only the two poles are there right so let me take a pole here let me take one more pole here now in between the two poles we are going to there is a transmission line is hanging like this yes or no now see here if the plant and you go to point there is a straight line you are stretch one of them some loose fit na venam irukom we are providing that is we are providing some what i can say sag right now we how to provide sag as well as we cannot that is neenga sag a provide pannu ana provide panna koodadhu again controversy will come kandipa sag venum in one point of view in another point of view more sag will be what it is dangerous for us yen ipo neenga velila observe panni pathina theriyum நீங்க போய்ட்டு பாருங்க நம்ம பக்கத்துல டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் எல்லாம் இருக்குல்ல இந்த வில்லேஜ் சைட்ல ஸ்பெஷலா வந்து வில்லேஜ் சைட கூட தெரியவா இருக்காது எஸ்பெஷலி சிட்டி சைடுக்கு சைடுல வெளியில போனீங்க அப்படின்னா டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் ரோட்டுக்கு பக்கத்துல கீழே தொங்கிட்டு இருக்கும் ரைட் வை மோர் சாக் அவங்க என்ன பண்ணிருப்பாங்க வந்து கரெக்டா டிஸ்டன்ஸ் வந்து கரெக்டான இது இஸ் கால் சாக் சேக் கரெக்டா இந்த ரெண்டு லைன் ஸ்ட்ரைட்டா ஜாயின் பண்ண முடியும் அப்படியே ஒரு ஸ்கேல் வச்சு ஜாயின் பண்ணிட்டு லைட்டஸ் நம்ம டிஸ்டன்ஸ் கிரியேட் பண்ணி இப்படி தொங்க வேண்டிய அப்படி ஸ்ட்ரைட்டா ஸ்ட்ரெச் பண்றது பதிலா we are providing some sag right we are handling இந்த மாதிரி फ्लेक्सिबल நம்ம தொங்க விடுறோம் ரைட் அது ஏதோ ஒரு பர்టిక్యులர் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் மட்டும் மெஷர் பண்ணி நம்ம தொங்க விடுவாங்க அது எதுக்காக அப்படினா நீங்க ஸ்ட்ரைட்டா டைட்டா ஸ்ட்ரெச் பண்ணீங்க அப்படினா எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இஸ் வெரி ஹை ஃபார் யுவர் கண்டக்டர் அதே மாதிரி அந்த டைம்ல கரண்ட் ஒரு வாட் ஐ கேன் சே wind flow and all over there or or ice cream and the tension will come na adu enna agada that material won't accept disturbance vibrations will be created or conductor vandu romba tight a irukku adhu mari takkra or kallu podina adu enna agum adhe edathula innor conductor ipdi irukka right konja loosening la irukka and the conductor par or kallu irukku adhu takku na it will be oscillated right that oscillation vibrations is very less when i am comparing with the structure structure transmission line so we are providing in one point of view we are providing adhe mari enna wind pressure right so when you like a sagging point patta appadina romba adhigama vandu current flow irukumbodhu enna aguna transmission line vandu wind flow la sorry wind flow irukumbodhu enna aguna light a adhuve oscillate aayidu by itself it will reduce by itself it will reduce the oscillation it is coming back to steady state right so in one point of view we are providing small sag is good for me right in order to avoid these stresses various clearance in the sense from the ground what is the distance at which point we are providing this sag that is called a clearance right this is called a sag clearance of the ground level the yellow height you connect to convert to see there okay ipo namu indha mari convert to oru okay advantage da yellow distance you convert to mo ipo edhu na enna agum if somebody will come here definitely it will be dangerous for at least what i can say human and animals at all right so what it will happen in uh, my villages right often right nowadays okay it was reduced actually right in our earlier days right after some 10 years ago this in the more accident vandu adigadi nadakum because takkana vandu romba adhigama vandu wind flow irukumbodhu enna aguna current vandu sag romba adhigama irukum right some of the people avanga enna panuvanga night time la pogumb
அவன் பார்க்க போயும்போது என்ன ஆகும் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி இங்கே தொங்கிட்டு இருக்கான் எனக்கு இப்படி போகும்போது மை லைன் எவ்வளோ பட போகுது நான் ரைட் ஸோ டெஃபினெட்லி பி டேஞ்சரஸ் ரைட் மெனி மெனி பீப்புள் ஹெட் பின் டைட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த ரைட் ஸோ திங் இஸ் வாட் இட் இஸ் வெரி டேஞ்சரஸ் ஃபார் தி ஹியூமன் பீப்பிள் அப்போ என்ன பண்ணுவோம் வி ஹாவ் டு ப்ரொவைட் ப்ராப்பர் கிளியர் சினிவே கெட்டிங் பேக் டிஸ்கஸிங் அப்போ அலுமினியம் கனெக்ட் ரைட் அப்போ அலுமினியம் கனெக்ட் பண்ணிக்கணும் அலுமினியம் கனெக்டோட ஃப்ளெக்சிபிலிட்டி அதிகமாக இருக்கணும் வீ கேன் ஈஸிலி டிரான்ஸ்போர்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் தட் இஸ் டிரான்ஸ்போர்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் அனதர் பாயிண்ட் ஆனால் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ஷன் லைன் வந்து நீங்கள் ஹேங்கிங் விளாடும்போது ஃப்ளெக்சிபிலிட்டி அதிகமாக இருக்குன்னு சொல்லலாம் வெரி சிம்பிள் ஒரு ரப்பர் பேண்ட் எடுத்துக்கிட்டு நீங்கள் திரும்ப திரும்ப வந்து எக்ஸ்பேண்ட் பண்ணி கம்ப்ரஸ் பண்ணிகிட்டே இருந்தீங்கன்னா என்ன ஆகும் இஃப் ஐன் கீப் ஆன் ஸ்ட்ரச்சிங் ஒரு பர்டிகுலர் டைமுக்கு அப்புறம் நீங்கள் ரப்பர் பேண்ட் விட்டு பாருங்க அது முன்னாடி இருந்த ஸ்டேட்டுக்கும் இப்போ அது புதுசாக நியூ யூக்லிபிரியம் ஸ்டேட் இட் வில் அட்டை நியூ யூக்லிபிரியம் ஸ்டேட் இவர் ரப்பர் பேண்ட் வில் அட்டை நியூ யூக்லிபிரியம் ஸ்டேட் இனிஷியலாக அதில் சைஸ் எவ்வளோ இருந்திருக்கும் நீங்கள் ரொம்ப நேரம் இப்படி ஸ்ட்ரெச் பண்ணி ஸ்ட்ரெச் பண்ணி விட்டுகிட்டே இருந்தீங்கன்னா கொஞ்சம் நேரத்துக்கு அப்படி இப்படி வந்துடும் எல்லாம் நம்ம சின்ன வயசில் பண்ணியிருப்போம் ரைட் சேம் திங் வில் ஹேப்பன் ஹியர் ஸ்பெஷலி லேடிஸ் வந்து அப்சர்வ் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க யூ வில் ஆல்வேஸ் தெரிஞ்சு இப்போ ரப்பர் பேண்ட் தான் ரப்பர் பேண்ட் என்ன ஆகும் இது திருந்து விட்டுகிட்டே இருந்தீங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கே தெரியும் அது கொஞ்ச நாளைக்கு அப்புறம் என்ன ஆகிட்டா ரொம்ப பெருசாக இருக்கும் மேக்ஸிமம் யூக்லிபிரியம் பாயிண்ட்டுக்கு வந்திருக்கும் அதுக்கு மாதிரி இருந்தீங்கன்னா உடச்சேன் ஐ மீன் ரப்பர் பேண்ட் அறுத்துக்கும் ஏன்னா You can be pretty small and like rubber band, we can stretch, 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 you know, size thing. That's why you don't have to do it. It will automatically break it. Same thing will happen in our transmission, aluminum connector, right? So, because of the flexibility, it is, it's sad to keep on increasing. There might be a dangerous stretching. If you have to do it over time, two days, or two years, three years, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Flexibility, stretching. That's why you can't do it. Release, you can't do it. Flexibility, right? You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. ரப்பர் பண்ண மாதிரி தான் இன்னும் கீழே வர ஆரம்பிக்கும் தட் இஸ் தி டேஞ்சரஸ் டிஃபிகல்ட் தட் இஸ் தி டிராபேக் ஆஃப் அவர் அலுமினியம் கனெக்டர் ஸோ ப்ரொவைடிங் தி சேக் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் நவ் யூ மேட் கெட்டிங் தி கிளியர் ஐடியா எஸ் ரைட் ஸோ சேக் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அப்போ அது அந்த பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூவில் பார்க்கும்போது அலுமினியம் கனெக்டரில் ஒரு ட்ராபேக் தான் எனக்கு ஏன்னா அதோட ஃப்ளெக்சிபிலிட்டியாக அது அப்படி இருக்கு பட் ஓகே அதனால கொஞ்சம் ஹைட் நம்ம கரெக்டாக வந்து போர்ஸோட ஹைட் நல்லா இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணி நல்லா லைட்டாக சேக் ப்ரொவைட் பண்ணி நீங்கள் கரெக்டாக ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணிங்க அப்படின்னா வி கேன் அவாய்ட் நீங்கள் பார்க்கலாம் ஹை ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன்லாம் வந்து ரொம்ப ஹைட்டில் போட்டிருப்பாங்க நீங்கள் இப்போ தான் சப்ஸ்டேஷன் தான் இப்போ அங்கே இருந்து கொண்டு வந்துட்டாங்க ரைட் ஃபார் நியர் மை ஹோம் ஆல்சோ தேர் பிரிங்கிங் ஒன் ஹில் ஸ்டேஷன் வந்து இதே பவர் ஸ்டேஷன் இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் இந்த இம்ப்ளிமெண்டேஷன் தான் போய் ரைட் ஸோ தேர் ட்ரான்ஸ் தேர் கோயிங் டு ட்ரான்ஸ்மிட் தி பவர் ஃப்ரம் தேர் தட் பாயிண்ட் ரைட் ஸோ திங் இஸ் அப்போ பவர் அங்கேருந்து அங்கே ட்ரான்ஸ்மிட் பண்ண போகிறாங்கன்னா தேர் தட் இஸ் நீங்கள் அங்கே அங்கே இருக்க ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் தான் பார்க்கலாம் தட் இஸ் கால் ஹெச்விடிசி ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் தட் இஸ் ஹெச்விஏசி ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் ஹைட் வந்து ரொம்ப அதிகமாக ப்ரொவைட் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் வி ஆர் கேரிங் தி கண்டக்டர்ஸ் டு அவாய்ட் ரைட் தி திங் இஸ் அ டேஞ்சரஸ் ரைட் ஓல்டேஜ் லவ் இஸ் டேஞ்சரஸ் ஃபார் ஹியூமன் பீயிங் ரைட் ஓகே தட் இஸ் கன்க்ளூஷன் ஓ எனிவே ஒரு சைடில் எனக்கு ட்ராபேக் தான் இன்னொரு சைடில் ஐ ஹவ் அட்வான்டேஜ் எனிவே வி ஆர் கெயிங் டு கிவ் ப்ரையாரிட்டி ஃபார் அலுமினியம் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஓன்லி ஃபைனலி ரைட் வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் பேக் டு தி கன்க்ளூஷன் ஸோ வி ஆர் கெயிங் டு டிசைன் அலுமினியம் மெட்டீரியல் ஓன்லி ரைட் ஸோ ரெட் மீ ஆர் திஸ் ஒன் நவ் நெக்ஸ்ட் வாட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு டூ எஸ் ஓகே சார் கன்க்ளூஷன் இஸ் இன் அவர் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் தி எலிமெண்ட் தட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அலுமினியம் கண்டக்டர் ரைட் அப்போ அந்த அலுமினியம் கண்டக்டர் நம்ம எந்த மாதிரி யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஒரு அலுமினியம் கண்டக்டர் அப்படின்னா ஒரு அலுமினியம் கனெக்டர் அப்படியே ஒரு ராடு மாதிரி எடுத்துக்கலாமா ஒரு ராடு மாதிரி எடுத்துக்கலாமா இல்லை ஒரு அலுமினியம் கனெக்டர் நடுவில் ஹோல்ஸ் போட்டு ஒரு வாட்டை கேன்சி ஹாலோ சிலிண்டர் ஹாலோ சிலிண்டர் மாதிரி எடுத்துக்கலாமா ஹாலோ சிலிண்டர் தான் மீனிங் என்னங்க ஐ டோன்ட் ஹவ் எனி எக்யூப்மெண்ட் ஹியர் ரைட் தெர் இஸ் பெட்டர் ரைட் ஹாலோ சிலிண்டர் இந்த சென்ஸ் தி ஐ ஹவ் அ கேப் கியர் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் அ கேப் ரைட் லெட் மீ ஃபிக்ஸ் இட் திஸ் இஸ் ஹாலோ சிலிண்டர் எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படின்னா சென்டரில் மட்டும் ஃபோ ஃபோர்ஸ் நம்ம கிரியேட் பண்ணிட்டு அவுட்டரில் அந்த ரெட் கலர் இருக்கு இல்லையா தட் இஸ் தி கண்டக்டர் சென்டரில் ஃபோர்ஸ் கிரியேட் பண்ணிடுவோம் தட் இஸ் கால்டு ஹாலோ சிலிண்டர் வேறு எஸ் சிலிண்டர் அப்படின்னா எப்படி இருக்கும் சிலிண்டர்னா ஃபுல்லாக வி ஆர் கேரிங் கண்டக்டர் ஃபுல்லாக வந்து வித்தவுட் ஃபோர்ஸ் வி ஆர் கேரிங் தி கண்டக்டர் நவ் மை கொஸ்டின் இஸ் வெதர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு
the number is funny we are going to get right so which material we are going to give that is the number of material we are going to use from putting that is the question right so this is called a twisted connector twisted no meaning or not this is one of the knowledge connector we are going to twisting them right number one of the number 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 which is the that is called a twisted connector or it is called a stranded connector it is called stranded the people are calling it a stranded connector this is called hollow hollow cylinder actually i am little weak in english i might make some mistakes while writing the statements spelling errors and mistake all please correct it by yourself because that is not big deal right right a stranded connector hollow cylinder right next there there is solid cylinder here we are using solid cylinder yes so totally we are going to keep three type of connectors <coughs> Yes, it is over now. Getting back. If the question is not enough, sir, aluminium or metal, you choose one. You can either move to three pairs of them. Design one. Either you are on the name, you choose one. Bring it. Finally, if you are going to put a transmission line up, bring it. Can you find any transmission line up? Bring it. This one you bring it. Twisted or what? Now, if you connect one, one more you can bring it. See, distribution line. Any one of them, can you buy all of them? Bring it. You can buy power at the ring. Bring it. Can you buy one of them? Bring it. Pull it. And the pull it. Bring 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 it. Four lines will be there. One is return path. Another one is what? Three lines will be going to carry the power. We know the purpose of return path. Let me show you the machine. Let me show you. Anyway, we are going to discuss all those things now. So think is, if I have four lines, if I have four lines, you know, carefully observe me. What I mean? That is, what is it? Now, now, what is it? Now, what is it? Many sana connected or four lines connected. That is, and four lines connected. One more than that, I will come. That is, what is it? That is called the standard connector. Are twisted together. Why, sir? What is the purpose of going with like that? Let us see. Check for Lama. So thing is, let us take all these connectors. First, let me take in the solid connector in hollow end. Then, if there is any problem, then we will make this more easy. Then we will check it out. Right? And then you will come to know. Can finally get the idea why we are going to put the connector. Of course, standard connector we use for. Apart from this, we are also using one more connector. You might read this name already. Bundled connector. We will see. Right? We will see that structure also. We are going to see standard connector. And as well as we are also using bundled connector in our transmission line. Right? In H V D C transmission. Yes, H V A C. Right, not DC. <coughs> we are using bundle last. Oh, first step. Let us take solid connector. Very simple. Remember, person, I am saying the other one. Just we are uh, seeing the differentiation. Yes, sir. This is the solid connector. Okay, and uh, this is going to be the cylindrical connector. Sorry, hollow cylinder. Solid and hollow cylinder. What is the difference, sir? Remember, simple observe one. If we are talking about the center point, then the In the total area, we have effective radius. Let me call its total radius is R. If I look at the solid, look at the same size. Assume both are same size. Size of the material is remains same. Size of the material remains same. Size of the matter both are same. And I am just telling you, first thing, our solid is there. If I look at the small portion, I cut it very little. The holes create only. If I look at the radius, look at it. It has been reduced from the previous one. Let me write it in the small part. What is the difference? In case of a solid conductor, radius is more. Yes or no? When I am comparing with the hollow cylinder, it is called hollow cylinder. It is cylindrical structure. That's a solid, right? When I am comparing, when we are doing comparison, we are talking about the radius offered by the cylinder is greater than the value of radius offered by the hollow cylinder. Let me call this cylinder C. Let me call this hollow H. Just I am showing the difference. Don't think too much, right? Or else we can directly like, apne na mukhe niya ya R or S, they are also na apne niya. Or very much na na mukhe. Let us control. Next time na mana mana bolo. You go and prepare comfort money na pakma the na udhar na. Yeh ready sabhi ko matlab ready sabhi hai ka. Yes, right? Or next to what is the conclusion? Now once again, when I am looking for, right? Sir, apne you go and prepare comfort kono mukhe, right? We have one more issue that is called. Let me introduce that person. That is called skin effect. Right. The thing is, and for which we have to reduce it, now corona loss will reduce it. Yar la, aluminium conductor la corona loss will reduce it. But in the part, you guys are not compare with the part mode. Radius yar la, you matka only corona loss kamiya. You know that you know. Can you believe? You have to accept, right? When I am comparing these two people, if a person having more resistance, that person corona loss is very less. Why? Because electric field intensity is inversely proportional to radius offered by the conductor. If radius is increased. Followed by field intensity will be reduced. Followed by corona loss also will be reduced. 
that that merits something we have seen. That's why I took aluminium conductor. You can do the same comparison in between the material, but that is not the big matter now. This is not a big matter now. Machine la uh, aluminium conductor and the other one dana see corona se compare pani aluminium na design pani ka. Yena kaazu aalu mudin se. Next year yena prachana wadhi se dana. Design pani mudin se. AC current dana nama pass pana paro. AC DC we are going to carry two current. We will see the difference. AC current dana we will inject pani dana. இன்ஜெக்ட் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் திரும்ப பாக்குறாங்க நான் இப்போ ஒரு விசிபிளா இருக்க வச்சுக்கோங்க நான் அந்த கண்டக்டர் இப்போ இதான் வந்து ஒரு சிலிண்டர் ஒரு கண்டக்டர் இருக்கு அதை நான் கட் பண்றேன் கட் பண்ணி அதை உள்ள பாக்குறேன் சைட்ல அதோட டாப்பி பாக்குறீங்க ஒரு கண்டக்டர் கட் பண்ணிக்க கட் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் அதை நீங்க அப்சர்வ் பண்ணி பாக்குறீங்க இப்படிதான் வரும் இதுதான் கண்டக்டர் சிலிண்டர் கண்டக்டர் அதை வந்து கட் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் நீங்க அதை உள்ள பாக்குறீங்க அப்படின்னா இதுல என்ன ஆகுதுன்னா சிலிண்டர் எக்ஸ்பேண்ட் திங்க் இஸ் வெளியே டேக்கிங் திஸ் கண்டக்டர் அலோ இந்த மாதிரி இருக்கு கரெக்டா இப்ப இது வழியா நீங்க கரண்ட் பாஸ் பண்ணீங்க ஆல்டர்னேட்டிங் சைக்கிள் அண்ட் இன்ஜெக்டிங் இன்டு திஸ் கரண்ட் பாஸ் பண்ணிட்டா உள்ள என்ன ஆகுதுன்னு பார்த்தா கரண்ட் என்ன ஆகுது கரெக்ட்டா சென்டர் பாயிண்ட்ல போற மாதிரி இட் இஸ் டைவர்டிங் லைக் திஸ் மோர் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் கரண்ட் வில் பீ கான்ட்ரிபியூட் டு சர்க்கிட்ஸ் இங்க போக ஆரம்பிக்குது சென்டர் பாயிண்ட் ஐடியலா இருந்து கரெக்ட் ஐடியல் அண்ட் ஐடியல் ஸ்டேட் சென்டர் பாயிண்ட்ல இருந்து கரண்ட் போறது பார்த்த நோ கரண்ட் அட் தி சென்டர் பாயிண்ட் This effect is called skin effect. Yes, sir, why is this happening like this? Right? The thing is, why not according to wire state principle, one conductor will be able to pass the current pass number, that current will produce flux. Yes or no? Yes. Right? That will produce from the flux on the NIL, already we have been talking about skin effect. I hope you all have remembered. Right? Because we have been talking about many times. Machines say, machines say, what I can say, I have been compared our electrical machines with our, uh, what I can say, power system. பவர் சிஸ்டம் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் எல்லாம் கம்பேர் பண்ணி ஸ்கின் எஃபெக்ட் இஸ் வெரி ஹை இன் கேஸ் ஆஃப் வாட் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் மிஷின்ஸ் ஓகே ஐ பின் கன்ட்ரோல் தி திங்ஸ் அப்டி எனிவே ஹியர் ஆல்சோ வி ஹவ் ஸ்கின் எஃபெக்ட் சில் வி ஹவ் வாட் ஐ கேன் சே டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன் ஓனிங் ஆ கண்டக்டர்ஸ் ஐ ஹேட் गिवन தி வேல்யூஸ் ஆல்சோ ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆல் ஆர் ரிமெம்பர் எனிவே கமிங் பேக் ஏன் தி ஸ்கின் எஃபெக்ட் வந்து நமக்கு கரண்ட் பாஸ் பண்ணும்போது இட் will produce more amount of flux அப்டி प्रोड्यूस ஆகுற flux வந்து எப்படி இருக்கும் சீ தேர் when the moment we are passing the current the current will produce the flux அப்ப அப்டி प्रोड्यूस பண்ற flux ல என்ன ஆச்சுன்னா flux is very low the more amount of flux is contributing right more amount of flux is contributing at the center point of the conductor end there to start also adu kula vandha adu contribute panna bodu right so let me demonstrate right with some separate diagram in order to get the clear idea about the skin effect right now what i am going to do let me take the conductor here let us take the conductor just to pass the current through the conductor now what will happen this conductor will set up the flux here like this yes its flux is going to be travel like this just to see it now your target is you are going to look at the ipo ni paarenga center point paarenga correct ah indha zone matta concentrate panunga inga irundhu velila pora ella flux um undu correct ah center point la meet panadha they are providing return path thirumba avanga ulla varanga correct ah adhe mari inga paathinga velila poittu ulla vara ella conductor thirumba undu center point la concentrate pandranga so apdi concentrate panum bodhu see the now i am observing ipo na velila paakuren இங்க இருந்து நான் என்ன பண்றேன்னா இந்த இடத்துல மீட் பண்ற டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் फ्लக்ஸ் பாத்தீங்கனா மொத்தமா this conductor is producing 10 webers 10 webers produce பண்ணது அப்படினா that 10 webber flux lines for example to produce 10 webber flux line i am producing 100 flux lines here to produce in order to keep 10 webber flux i am producing 100 flux lines 100 flux lines okay webers are now speaking 100 flux lines you are producing circuits on the 100 flux lines center la contribute பண்ணுங்க அப்படியே நீங்க கண்டக்டரோட சர்ஃபேஸ் க்கு வெளியில போக போக பாருங்க இந்த இடத்துல பாருங்க இந்த फ्लக்ஸ் இது இந்த இடத்துல கிராஸ் ஆகுற फ्लக்ஸ் வந்து ரொம்ப கம்மியா இருக்கும் திரும்ப நீங்க வெளியில வர வர பாத்தீங்கன்னா சர்ஃபேஸ் க்கு போக 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 தி அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் फ्लக்ஸ் கான்ட்ரிபியூஷன் இஸ் கீப் ஆன் ஆன் ரிடியூசிங் இட் இஸ் பெனட்ரேட்டிங் ரைட் சோ वी கேன் சே வாட் யூ கேன் சே அட் தி சென்டர் பாயிண்ட் फ्लக்ஸ் இஸ் வெரி 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 கிரேட்டர் தட் இஸ் வெரி வெரி ஹையர் தென் தி வேல்யூ ஆஃப் சர்ஃபேஸ் फ्लக்ஸ் சர்ஃபேஸ் ல எவ்வளவு फ्लக்ஸ் நீங்க கான்ட்ரிபியூட் பண்ணது only one or two फ्लக்ஸ் but in the flux you are getting surface cross the thermo center ku pore ella flux the center la contribute panna right so when i am comparing the amount of flux that is contributing in the surface with the center point flux value is very high at the center point we all know if the value of the flux is very high followed by flux offered by this reactance offered by the flux also will be increased why both are directly proportional in electrical machines we have been define these things many times right so reactance is very high flux are even the reactance are even more reactance are even the current energy are come according to ohms law i is equal to v by x if the value of the reactance is very high then what will happen definitely the value of the current will decrease you have to agree you have to accept yes or no yes sir current value is decreasing appo enna avum suppose if reactance ideally i am speaking reactance is very 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 high then current will be very 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 less ideally ideally 
If the reactance will become infinity, then current rate will be zero. Anyway, small leakage current will be there in practice, that we know. But ideally, there is no current. That is called the skin effect. Because of the high amount of flux contribution at the center point, it is producing, it is producing, it is creating enormous amount of react reactance or inductance. Because of this enormous amount of inductive reactance, my value of the current contribution at the center point is decreasing. That phenomenon we are observing the conductor after designing the solid conductor. So they are looking, what is happening in my conductor? So we have to read, you know, one year what shall we do? They are trying to remodify the conductor, right? In order to reduce, right? In order to reduce this value, right? In order to overcome these issues, we are looking for some new modified version, right? So here in this case, what we saw, we have ahi amount. There is a skin effect is more because conductor is under Now see there, guys, listen. Current is zero, right? Center point is current is zero. If you are clear, right? Then we will put in the middle of the current. Middle of the surface of the and the center of current is zero. Okay, wow. If I know the total area of this conductor, let me call it as A. That is called grass cross sectional area. Grass cross sectional area. Grass cross sectional area. Grass is lifted. Total value, right? We, we saw the same name. Grass mechanical power. Where is the Induction machine. Yes or no? Yes. Total mechanical power produced by the machine can also be called what? Grass power. Total mechanical power, right? So that is called grass, mechanical grass power or mechanical power. Total power done by the induction machine. That is getting back. So grass, grass in area, this is net area. In the net area of that, current in the area of the concentrate for the only in the surfaces. See there, in the area of the current power, right? Upper, in the net area, in the red area, we are calling it as, we are defining it in terms of small a, that is called electrical cross sectional area. Electrical current flow is center current flow. That will be zero. The total area offered by the conductor is called the grass cross section area. And the current contribute from the area that is called the electrical cross section area. Clear? Now tell me what type of relations that we have here. Now, in the end of the movement, one is first, I have been discussed about skin effect. If you have two areas different, one is grass cross section area, another one is electrical cross section area. Electrical cross section area means that is the area in which you can experience the current flow. Current flow area is called electrical cross section area. Total area is called what? Grass. Total cross section area. Yes, it is over. Skin effect is very different. If I will increase the size of the conductor, then whether the skin effect will increase or not. This is the initial case. Initially, I have a solid cylinder, right? Now, if I increase the size of this cylinder, now tell me whether the skin effect will increase or not. Sir, so size of the conductor increase for the Definitely, skin effect will increase. Why? In size increase, the radius also will increase, sir. Upon the current increase, once the current contribute to the area, the center of the area is the same. And that is the area in which current flow is not there, right? So current flow of the area, the size increase for the new area, new size is the initial size. If I now go, current is the same. Ideally, I am speaking, right? Now, the center point is the same. See there, skin effect, right? It will be directly proportional to grass cross section area. First thing is, right? So, when I am talking about electrical cross section area, I will define one way. If I keep on increasing the value of, right? Size of the increase for the area, what will happen? Definitely, skin effect also will keep on increasing, right? What about the electrical cross section area? Skin effect will increase for increase, what will happen? We have to overcome, right? If the electrical cross section area, the amount of area that we are contributing, that is decreasing. Our area, our area of the current carry on wrong, that is decreasing, whereas the area in which skin effect is keep on increasing, that is, that will be decided by the size of the conductor, yes, that is the first conclusion. Next, in order to overcome this, we have to remodify the conductor, yes. So, for that, I am taking the next one, right, so that is called second model. Yeah, anyway, first, let us slightly, um, Extend our discussion about the skin effect and then I will take the next one because I have to complete few more things here. That is control few more things, right? So first uh, we have been discussed about skin effect, right? That will be defined decided, that will be decided by skin depth, right? First I was talking about skin effect. Now I am going to talk about one more factor that is called skin depth. What do you mean by skin depth? Right? Skin depth or See that that is the conductor. 
When the conductor is current, it will be done. Only in this area, we are going to carry the current. Only in this area, we are going to see. For your understanding, I am writing like this. Actually, I will cover the center point of the current zero. Also, we can see. We are going to cover the current zero. In order to show you, in a clearest way, I am drawing like this. Right? If you want to draw like this, you can extend. Right? Actually, center point of the zero. Like this. You can see. Now, skin depth. Skin depth of the main from the outer surface, from the outer surface, right? How far we can experience the electrical flow? That is called the skin depth, the limit of the main, right? Outer surface and the yellow depth level we are carrying, right? Yellow distance level we are currently carrying on wrong, right? And the number current zero, right? Similarly here also, see that that is called skin depth. This portion will be different as skin depth. Yellow current level right? Our main is that skin depth increase level level, not skin factor decrease level level. Getting it. skin depth denotes the amount of that is the distance in which we are carrying the current from the surface. Surface is the yolo depth of the carrying the current. If a current will be in the yolo of the ocean, I mean, in a current of the value, in a depth of the value increase, we are carrying more current, right? That is more area will carry any current. In no depth increase, I will not see that up a skin effect decrease. I take for the effect of the main area, more area of the current zero, that is skin effect. Skin effect decrease, I will not skin depth increase, I will not know skin of the. That is the uh, skin, not like our skin. We have read till now, right? So that is outer surface is called skin. Outer surface is called skin for us, right? So skin effect. In the skin, our depth level we are increasing. Outer surface level we can see the flow of water here, right? Like that. Here we can see the flow of electrons. Our skin, our in the depth level increase, when it is pouring, you know, more amount of electrons will carry. This more amount of area will going to contribute to the current. More amount of area will going to carry the current. Such a what will happen? Skin depth is keep on increasing. Skin effect is keep on decreasing. Skin effect is keep on decreasing. So what is the conclusion here? More skin depth. So skin depth is inversely proportional to skin effect. Okay, wow. Skin effect of the amount of area which current flow is zero, right? But amount of when the area decreases, it will not skin effect decreases. It will not skin depth is increasing. That is the first relation. Clear? Next, what is our next section of discussion? Brother, so this is called skin depth, right? This is called skin depth. Depth. Deeply we are penetrating. Let me draw the waveform for this conductor. Let me take this conductor. Let me see side view, right? When the conductor side level only, you can see this one, right? E A P, right? I am also doing like this. So if we take the waveform from here, now from this center point, let me quickly draw it. Skin effect. If you are doing alone, see there. If our skin depth the waveform only, just uh, from the outer point, I am increasing. I am going to draw like this. I am just trying. To travel like this, outer part doesn't need to go away. Abhinav, you can see that. Now, can I tell you, outer surface so we can carry maximum amount of current will be there here. After you go away, go current will only enter the go. Current density is keep on decreasing at last will become zero here. In the outer surface, maximum current will be contributed in the outer surface, whereas in the inner surface, current is going to be zero. So in that way, what I can define if I draw the waveform from here to here, this waveform will become like this, right? In the outer surface, let me draw it. See, we all know. Current will become J times of A. नहीं क्या ना बनाया चाहिए कंडक्टर का नहीं डिजाइन बनती है साइज़ ऑफ़ दी कंडक्टर एडमिन डिजाइन इन द सेंस रेडियस ऑफ़ दी कंडक्टर एडमिन फिक्सर नाउ योर करंट इस डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू करंट डेंसिटी जे ऐसा नो सो यू कैन कीप ए यू कैन कीप करंट आर यू कैन कीप करंट डेंसिटी नाउ आई � in the outer surface, the start is slowly we are entering, entering, entering and coming like this. Now what will happen? In the outer surface, I can see more amount of current are carrying here. You can carry in the surface more amount of current. See that in the outer surface, more amount of current. Outer surface, we are carrying more amount of current. By penetrating this one, slowly what will happen? In the area current, you will have a surface full of entry, entry, the density of the current is keep on decreasing. Here density will be more and then density, density decreasing, decreasing, skin effect. Finally, central flow of water is zero. Of where from the room? It is exponentially decaying function. Finally, it will become zero. Clear? So that is the very form of your current density. I hope now you are getting very clear here. Clear? Yes. So it is exponentially decaying curve. But I, I have drawn it for current density. Finally, current density will become zero. Current density will become zero, right? So we keep on see that I am increasing the distance. X is keep on increases. 
First x would only 0 and the x is the distance, yeah? first 0, and then I am measuring 0.1 cm, 0.2 cm, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, I am keep on increasing the distance. But distance increase when I increase my curve is exponentially decreasing, 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 decreasing. finally I will be it is getting that is it is reaching, it is terminating into 0. Clear? That is how we are defining our skin depth. Clear? Yes. Now that will be generally defined as right. Okay, let me run these things now. Let me write the formula for skin depth. Now, that skin depth will be represented by skin depth. We are penetrating inside, right? That will be represented by delta. No, anyway, with respect to people, when I am deep, I am going deep, deeper, go, 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 my current density is keep on decreasing. So, current density can be that is exponentially decaying cow, it can be written as j equal to j max generally. J is equal to maximum J max into exponential corona e power minus del. But the del is del will be decided by the distance that we are choosing. Whether you are standing, whether the value of x will be 0, right? Whether the, whether the value of x will be 0 or whether the value of x will become infinity or the value of x, whether we are choosing some intermediate value for the x. So based on the value of x, we are choosing. Sorry guys, let me do one thing. Del here, right? So let, let us see, let me write. That is we are measuring this current density with the help of distance, right? See that first I will choose here, case number one. In a new start name, that is general formula. General formula, right? The distance will be distance, skin effect will decide the distance, right? Let us see. When our distance increase for the term, starting the value of x will become zero. X will only zero. Outer surface, current density will be maximum, right? Up in our room, that current density can be different as j is equal to j max into e power minus 0 by del. What is value of e power 0? 1. So that is going to be j max. Current density will be equal to j max in there. At the starting, at the moment of starting, current density is maximum. And then, right, deep in, for an example, x is going to be infinity. Ideally, I am speaking, that is going to be infinity. Up and over, current density is going to be j is equal to j max into e power minus of x will be replaced by infinity. So that is going to be e power infinity will become 0. So that is going to be 0. Right? So that is the generalized formula. If I keep on increasing the value of x, then what will happen? This, that, this curve is exponentially decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. Clear? So that is the generalized formula to obtain the value of skin. That is uh, current density at any point because of the skin effect. I hope now we are getting a clear idea. Right? Let us proceed further. Let me run these things now. Okay. Now, this skin depth delta can be defined as, right? Okay, let me write the formula directly first instead of going to the direct proportion. It can be written as 1 upon omega frequency relative permeability mu, and then we are conducting that is, we are considering the conductivity of the material and we keep them all under root. That is the direct formula that we are standardly using to obtain the value of skin depth for our transmission line, right? Just uh, do remember these things, right? Because this is the standard formula that we are using for our transmission line, right? So the thing is, with the help of these two formula, we are defining, we are defining this skin effect. Now, omega stands for frequency. Mu stands for relative permeability. We know the property, relative permeability, in depth we have been analyzed in case of transformers, electrical machines, right? We know the meaning of relative permeability. That is the permeability of the magnetic material in which maximum amount of flux can flow. Yes or no? Yes. But relative permeability, maximum flux will be contributed. Yes or no? Yes. Maximum flux contributed to the end of maximum reactants will be created. Maximum reactants created on a current will become current will be very less. Current will come here the skin depth will become skin depth will be very less. Why? Skin depth is nothing but current. Current. And I get the skin depth and frequency of the relative permeability to the inverse type of person. Similarly, conductivity. I should talk about the conductivity. Similarly, we should talk about frequency. This is the way we are bringing the relations between skin depth and conductivity. Right? Yes. <coughs> okay. So let us proceed further. Now with this, we can conclude all those things. I took skin effect, right? First thing we have been uh, defined about skin effect, and then this are grass cross section area, and then we have been discussed about electrical cross section area, and then we have been talking about skin effect. That is the skin depth. I have been talking about skin depth, right? And then we have been talking about that. Now you have to relate all those things. In order to first, just remember only one thing that is skin effect will be inversely proportional to skin depth. That is enough. It is inversely proportional to skin depth. That's all. Del is different as skin depth. Right? That's all. This is about skin effect. Now, anyway, let me run these things. That is the general formula that we are using to define the value of skin. Uh, I can say delta. 
it is over now what i am going to do what we circle now appo skin effect vand skin effect na meaning enna current is contributing at the outer surface we have some standard formula of okay that things are done that don't require just remember that one one thing is enough enna abina sir by going from outer surface to inner surface current is keep on decreasing current density is keep on decreasing why because of more amount of flux contribution now i am just asking you one question can you observe the same thing right can you observe the same thing in case of uh, dc material so let me do one thing i will write that formula for your understanding if we take c power uh, like this is i skin depth skin depth the value namana bodu that is 1 upon omega relative permeability conductivity and how to keep it in the under root and uh, this is one more formula current density j is equal to j max into let us see e power minus x by del that is the formula to obtain the value of skin depth yes if i like it now let us see the difference between ac and dc <coughs> Case number one. In case of DC, DC system, DC the frequency is zero. This is not without action. If we talk about skin effect, we can let us stay this one. In case of DC, omega is zero. If frequency will be zero, then the value of delta will become one by zero will be infinity, right? Frequency zero, one by zero will be infinity. So the value of delta is going to be infinity. If the value of delta will become infinity, then J is equal to J max into e power minus x by delta will be replaced by infinity. One by infinity. Zero, one by three is zero, so it will become G max into e power minus zero. Anyway, minus zero plus zero, e power zero is going to be one. One, e power zero is one. What is the conclusion? You cannot absorb the effect of this skin. Skin won't be affected in case of DC supply. अपन ये DC supply कोड दिया मिला, you cannot see the effect of this skin. Skin affect आ गया है, current will be uniformly distributed in the entire surface of the conductor. There is no skin effect. Current will be uniformly distributed. In the entire surface of the conductor, that is in case of DC. See the duty of your machine. Sorry, the transmission line. Now, the conductor is not going to inject. But the DC current is inject. But DC is free from the zero. Frequency zero is the signal that we inject. But with the zero frequency, if I inject any signal, there is no point of. We are telling you that DC is going to flux variations. No matter what. But I am not telling you. Sir, DC is going to be a problem. Why? Because flux variation is not there. Flux is going to be very important. Very important. Stationary flux. We are injecting stationary flux. There is no point of discussing about the skin effect at all. It will be stationary, correspondent. For the current also will be uniform at all points. Clear? Where is in AC system? What we saw, we have the effect. In AC system, we have the effect that is called what? Skin effect, right? So that is the difference between DC and the AC systems, right? So conclusion is in AC we are absorbing the effect of the skin. In DC we are not going to absorb the effect of the skin, right? But <coughs> AC the actual frequency will be there. In AC you can absorb that is high frequency will be there, right? If frequency is very high, you can simply say, sir, AC we are not going to depend on that. In case of AC, frequency is very high. First thing, frequency is very high. In order to prove it, frequency is very high. Now what about the skin depth? Automatic will be decreased. Now the frequency will increase. For example, we are going over to 50 hertz, right? Not with the 0 hertz. Now the frequency will increase. For example, skin depth will decrease. So the thing is, what will happen? Skin depth will decrease. One by denominator decrease. Now this overall term will increase. Now by now, if this overall term will, you can see the that is exponential component. You can see the effect of this exponential component, right? So that is what I have told you. Del not value is see there. Initially, what is that? Del is very high. Delta is very high, but you cannot see. That is, you cannot see the effect of the skin depth. Skin depth only there, right? Suppose if the value of delta is very less, if the value of delta is very less, then what will happen? Directly, I can control delta and skin depth. Both are inversely proportional. Skin depth will be inversely proportional to delta. If the delta is decreased, the skin depth will increase. From here itself, I can control. Clear? So in this of AC system, that's all. It is over. Just to make a note of it, that is enough. Okay, so finally what we have understood. Somehow we are trying to reduce the skin effect, right? Skin effect na, we reduce pannu. As well as we have seen one more thing is, uh, in case of solid conductor na, we are going to remodify the structure that is called the hollow cylinder, right? So, cylinder na, na, the hollow cylinder na, we are going to remodify. One kade, na, solid or solid conductor, that is size sam. I am not going to change the conductor size, but I am just uh, one wash na, that will allow me to remove it. Just I am going to remove it, right? So, after you remove that, let us see what will happen. Just I am removing a small portion, right? If I remove like that, then in result time, what is the net area offered by the conductor? First thing, what is the net skin effect offered by the conductor? You can do it by yourself. I am giving the task to you all, right? Because I am getting close to nine. I cannot start the chapter now, right? Tomorrow we will see. But uh, I am giving small task. This is hollow cylinder. 
you do one thing from the center point take take this total radius radius is r dash from the center point this inner radius let me take this one r or r let me take this one let me take this total radius is r just to compare this two or else you can simply take in the distance one we consider one more but center bend pakumbo this is r o space appo result enna we are going to consider only this area appo ne enna pannuvinga this is internal area in this area we are not going to carry anything this is the total area in this total area out of this total area we are going to carry something right let me call this r1 for a difference r1 right appo enna varum see the end area ne correct ah contribute panna poringa that is we are going to carry current only in this area appo enna varum this area is going to be let me call this a dash this a dash is going to be a1 a2 right in the area where we are total area minus this one is or no this area we know right total area we know out of total we have to subtract this one in order to obtain this area alone in the area matter where we are total area alone in the hollow side in the portion in subtract panu appo enna bolinga total area is pi r square minus small area is pi r square that is the net area of a very hollow side whereas solid side is simply it can be as pi into r square now you can just compare these two things and you can proceed you can make few more notes that's in your hand just to think let me and then i will come to the rest of things i will direct that's all so which are the things that we have been concluded today we we are in uh, what i can say generate gen, what i can say we are in transmission power generate panirukom generate panna power we are transmitting right but till now we did not see enna sources la nam use pannom abingada nam paakala at last i will conclude that is not a big topic right that's very small topic right but the thing is transmission is the very big part because inga nam enna problem varudha abina first we are designing transmission line conductor ninga design pannuma conductor design panadukku appuram ama transmission line la podradukku appuram we have many losses are there we have to see the voltage regulation effect transmission la voltage carry pannum bodhu ஒரு ஷார்ட் டிஸ்டன்ஸ்க்கு நம்ம வோல்டேஜ் கேரி பண்ணனும் அதுல என்ன எஃபெக்ட் இருக்கு டிஸ்டன்ஸ் இன்கிரீஸ் பண்ணா அதுல என்ன எஃபெக்ட் வரும் லாங் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பண்ணா அதனால என்ன எஃபெக்ட் வரும் இதல யார் யார் எல்லாம் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் ஆக போறா ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் இல் ஃபேல் இன் பிளேஸ் கேபாசிட்டர் வில் ஃபேல் இன் பிளேஸ் கண்டக்டன்ஸ் வில் ஃபேல் இன் பிளேஸ் இன்டெக்டன்ஸ் வில் ஃபேல் இன் பிளேஸ் எல்லாரும் பத்தி நம்ம பேச போறோம் அப்ப இவங்க எல்லாரும் என்ன எஃபெக்ட்லாம் டிரான்ஸ்மிஷன் லைன்ல வரும் இவங்க எல்லாரையும் ஓவர் கம் பண்ணி how we are going to do the voltage regulation how we are maximizing the voltage regulation this all things we are going to control with the help of abcd parameters right already in our uh, network classes just i had given introduction for abcd appo na and pathi pesittu irukumbo na sonna power system la na abcd parameter pathi na clear ah define pannuva right now just remember we are going to discuss about a term that is or or network irukku that is called abcd network just i had given the introduction under that matrix at all right now we are going to take the application of the abcd matrix abcd system vachida we are going to analyze because of the simplification abcd on simple solution solve that matrix two port network will going to simply let us to analyze the entire system so we are going to carry that one and we are going to analyze the entire system with the in terms of abcd parameter and we are going to design short transmission line medium transmission line long transmission line in short and medium transmission line we are going to design listening and uh, c model sending and c model nominal pi model nominal t model many things are there but they are all are very easy the thing is ஓகே ஸ்கின் எஃபெக்ட்னா இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபார்முலா இருக்குது இதுதான் எஃபெக்ட் இதில் எதாவது மெமரைஸ் பண்ணுவோம் இதில் எதாவது அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பண்ணிக்கணுமா ஒன்றுமே கிடையாது நீங்கள் ஸ்கின் எஃபெக்ட் மைண்டில் யோசிச்சாலே உங்களுக்கே புரிஞ்சது சார் கரண்ட் வந்து அவுட்டர் சர்ஃபேஸில் போகணும் அப்படியே மைண்டில் வந்துடும் இதில் என்ன மெமரைஸ் பண்ணுறது இருக்குது இதில் என்ன புரிஞ்சு இருக்கு இருக்கு நத்திங் நத்திங் இஸ் தேர் ரைட் தட்ஸ் ஆல் ஸோ பேசிக்ஸ் ஆர் கம்ப்ளீட்லி ஓவர் ரைட் தட் இஸ் பேசிக் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் இஸ் ஓவர் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் தி டுமாரோ கிளாஸ் ஆன்வர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஃப்ரம் தி பாயிண்ட் வேர் ஐ எம் லிவிங் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் வெர் இஸ் டுடே ரைட் எனி டவுட்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹவ் எனி டவுட்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் யூ கேன் ஆஸ்க் signals and system first chapter yesterday i have been completed right almost some small topic only will be there today i will complete that one but uh, it is in editing editing is in progress right almost uh, yesterday i took near 5 6 near 3 to 4 hours video right almost first chapter will be completed so that will be updated that is uploaded today then you can start your preparation on signals very easy and one small thing na signals la ekkame solirpen anga and class edukumbodhe solirpen namba vandu the mathematics point of view la dhan paakanum abindra here also i'm giving one conclusion whenever you are looking for signals and system right there are many things there are many approach to understand very easy control system ah endha approach la neenga learn paninglo same thing you have to do there and control system also at some points i might have there is i might have talk about physical uh, world what i can say i might have interrelated with physical variables right but not at all in signals also i am not going to do that wrong generally ange enna paninga generally these are the type of the signal this is the way how we are defining like that only mathematical point of view you have to learn why because in your examination weightage is very high right me solid na especially for gate and uh, drb tnb right especially for drb last year and i have been solid right some of 
some of the people might be knowing these things question paper paathinaenga theriyum nearer 18 marks came from signal system and nearer uh, 19 or 18 marks came from analog electronics they are given priority for that one right so this subject that subject is very important and it is very easy adu crack panna adina mathematically you have to you have to learn this subject physical world la direct ah ninga interact panna vena first adu mathematically full ah learn pannittu at last after joining in psus you definitely will get the idea in some signal processing unit if you are getting the opportunity to work there then you will come to know that things right now i am just going with the mathematical approach only please should try to learn all those things in the same approach that i am going okay there are doubts that you can ask in the group shall you wind up please respond say sir no how many of you coming in the same flow i don't know video pass me nina thirumo pinadi da vandittu irukinga nenikira yes thank you all